Guess those deliver packages are us. Yes, they are. What's going on, folks? Anybody tuning in early or watching this after? We're doing a bit of a stream with some crew tonight. Get a, get a few more guys in here later. We're doing some overdrive, some missions, all that nonsense. Jump in chat, hang out with us. Nothing too fancy. All right. I wonder why I can't minimize this. That's weird. I totally forgot I had a Corsair. Yeah, I'm going to bring that. The Corsair? Yeah. If I'm in a small fighter, it kind of makes sense for somebody else to be in something with some cargo. Are you getting zero of three completed too? I am. Hmm. It's probably three boxes for like it looks like supply quest is just one. It's just three deliveries to complete the entire thing. I just don't fully understand how this is gonna work. It's like like is this our part of the pie? We like we gotta do this part now or I guess so. Or they're not doing it. No, I mean, they're not 600 I, they said, but I mean, I would just say come in whenever you're in and, and we'll just, we'll sort it. Worst case scenario, we can play it for everyone. It's not a bad thing. And there we go. Couple guys tuning in already. Just a chill session, guys. Just jump in chat if you want to. We're just trying to complete Overdrive Phase 5 so we can get those rewards. Sweet, sweet rewards. Yeah. I want to try the F7A. How do we get to this spot? You guys need some help? Uh, we're in a group doing this. We'll see how it works out. We're just kind of streaming the overdrive and um, seeing if. Are we you can on the fifth it. wave? Uh, no, but I'm not. I, I don't really care about it, honestly. Yeah, we can. Which wave are you on, though? Zero, <laughs> one, I guess. Then. All right, we can help you with that after. I'll just do some bunkers for now. And it's just box missions, I think. Oh, yeah. okay, then I just... Well, it's box and combat. There's no jump point to get to it. I'm trying to find something. I'm going to jump to Woodruff and kind of drop part way around. That should help out. Okay. I still got two minutes on the course here. Very low on fuel doing this. Okay, the first one we're picking up is an ammunition crate. Um, can't tell what the other ones are. But this should get us in there as, as quickly as we possibly can. Cutting power. I think it might have got us pretty close, actually. 100 kilometers straight up. That's good enough for this little thing. I can at least clear the area. I just can't collect the crate in the ship that I'm in. It's crazy. We're going to have half the people on this mission in the server. Which is, I mean, maybe that's what they were going for, is they want you to socialize to get it, but it just seems a little odd that it didn't pop up. But you're right. It could be a permission thing. Could like It could be a, a distance thing. They were near Hurston. Maybe it only pops up around oh. Hurston. Like a server stressing. Like they, These guys tend to knock a few things out with one stone, so I can see it. Yeah. Oh. We'll see if it completes. If it's just get these three boxes and deliver them, I mean, it's not going to be a big deal. I just, I can't do it. The fighter. 30 seconds. Hopefully these guys also do it. A bunch of guys tuned in on Twitch already. Nice, guys. And even one person on YouTube. Should say I don't usually stream on YouTube, so. Nice to see people even finding it there. 
I wish that when you streamed to YouTube that it told people you were also live on Twitch. So if they see zero viewers on YouTube, but they're like, you know, oh, but there's like 20 people on Twitch, so fair enough. It's sort of the same mentality as like when you're when you're clubbing, you know, like you go, people go to a club and they see empty and they don't even want to go in. Then they see 200 people inside and they want to wait in line. A lot of approach to ground site. Following this ship way the hell back. Multiple hostile Verify. ships coming in. Ooh, I got 85 bees on it. Okay, sweet. All right. Uh, multiple, multiple. I'll be in route in a second. That can't be part of this mission. That's somebody's ERT has spawned above it. Lovely. What do we got here? Seeing if any hostiles have spawned. Oh, my ship just lost a wing. Uh oh. Watch out for debris. Uh, yeah, it clipped something. Might have to hop in with you on the way out of here. I'm not used to these little fighters. I think I just came in too hot on that one. That was 100% my fault. Let's do phase top. We're trying to, man. We're trying to. Well, that was weird. So I double clicked the button, ran up the ramp, and the ramp threw me into the thing because it, it was closing. <laughs> Corsairs, man. Uh. What the heck is shooting me? Is it the freaking Starfarer? I can't fight this the Starfarer in this thing. I'm going to give it my ship. Let it take it out. I'm going to ride out with you. Oh. Something just knocked me over. Servers are not running great. Okay, I've got the crate in sight here, so I'm ready whenever you guys make it over here. Okay, coming out of our corp. They're gonna blow up my ship. And I'm getting scanned. Jeez, man. Tell you, man, the, the security's uh, on top of it over here. There goes my ship. A lot of cargo here, just the one box for us out there. There's some other guys here that have picked me up. Got the box. And the other ships are shooting at them already. That's like, that's an ERT that spawned above me. But I don't even know what's going on here. They're also in a Corsair, it looks like, from the, the firing pattern. Oh, man. So it's like we're all working together, basically. Yeah, move out of the way. They're going to drop those ships right on my head. Oh, God. Uh, 20 out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think that's a reclaimer that just dropped on the ground directly in front of me. Hello, friends? <laughs> Can I... This would look amazing if it wasn't dark out. Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ. 
This is disconcerting me immensely. I think they just landed. Did they die? I think two of them died. Zytra is still up there. The other ones disappeared. What is he in? Is that an inferno? Or is that a spirit? That's a spirit. He can pick me up. You gonna land? All right, come on, dude. Just got to Hurston. Go. All right. There's the box. He took off immediately, which knocked me on my ass. Let's go deliver this. of a bug with a mic cliff of this ship. Well, if they do, there's not much we can do about it. Makes sense, though. That that could happen. I guess we're meeting up with the law chopper. Well, we're taking box one to drop it. Um, and then I guess it tells us where the second one is after that. Or are they seeing separate ones? I don't, I don't, I don't know what's happening with this mission. It would make sense to me if it gave you all three boxes and you go deliver them. It just feels like busy work if they're like... You have to deliver I see them the drop point. One by it's... one. Arrow jump it's one point. of the Lagrange point. Yeah, I can't yeah. see the jump point. There's too many pips. Yeah, the, the mission. That's part of the, the lore of the mission. Is they're all leading to the pyro jump point to get it to get it ready for the assault. This is honestly very similar to how they did community events in Elite. It's just much more immersive in Star Citizen. Deliver this one, and then it'll prompt you guys for the next one. So I'd say you guys don't fly out here. I like the spirit. It's a cool show. That's got the Allegiant paint on it. Looks like everybody in the party spread out, so it's... That's a good thing, yeah. Well, this is pretty cool. There's a lot of people in a party, I think. Yeah, I mean, the last time we did this many to party was an org thing where we were doing Jump Town, and it just gets hard. The thing is, when they're all in voice, it gets hard to coordinate, so it's kind of nice that there's like a bunch of different groups in one party together, all doing sub-voices. I could see us doing it that way with like multiple ships engaging in combat and say pyro in the future. The Polaris is in one voice comms, the Carrick's in another voice comms, the Perseus is in another voice comms. And the we, leaders can talk to each other. That but, would be fucking cool. But we're all in the same party. Well, you, but the thing is then you communicate using in-ship hailing. So it's like, yeah, open a channel to the address. We're going to have a conversation. 
or we can jump comms whenever we want to. It's like I'm switching channels. You just switch Discord channels. Yep. Fleet wide comms. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started with all that. That's cool. Or maybe you're maybe you're in a party with like the leadership, the other captains on Discord, and then the crew is in their own party. But then the captain of the ship can activate ship comms whenever he wants to communicate with the ship. So you might be in a turret, not in party with me. I don't know. Mayflower and Panzer are the ones flying our ships, but you're a gunner on mine. So you guys are chatting in the ship, and then you hear me on the ship comms being like, "Okay, prepare for combat. We're jumping in." Like. Who knows how we're going to coordinate it, but that's kind of what they're going towards here, and I kind of like it. I mean, that's pretty... I mean, it, it's done like that for a reason in militaries, because it's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. You know? Everyone does not need to be on the same channel. Leadership needs to be on the same channel. I guess we had to get all three boxes together, then do it? I, I don't know. That's why, what's happening? I've just been watching, like... My my thing right now is deliver ammunition crate, crate to Pyro Gateway, so that's what we're doing. Hopefully it works. What are they saying in chat? Medical supply crate, don't change with medical one, just food and ammo is the contract bug, says zero three. So are they saying they've already delivered one? Hmm. I guess we'll find out what's going on in a minute here. I mean, I'm seeing progress. Collected package, food, and ammunition. Oh, shit. What? What are you saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm not following. Yeah, I'm looking at the accepted and the uh, mm -hmm. contracted. So they're saying they've already wow. delivered two. It's just not showing it in the counter at the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, when we drop uh, this one, let's see what happens, I guess. Ah, uh, gotcha. You haven't dropped it. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, we haven't dropped the ammo yet, no. Which, where do they want this delivered? Which box is it going to be? Probably going to be the one up at admin. And if not, it'll be the one at the cargo center. We'll find out in a second here. Whoa, lag spike. Try the cargo center instead. That's the one. There we go. And get them ready to drop. Ammo box dropped. Delivered. One of three. Okay. So now it's working. What? Yeah, it is working. Like I say, delivered the food. Or is he saying deliver the food? We'll find out in a second what they're talking about. Okay. I see it now. I wonder who has the box. Like, do they have the mission? So somebody's on the way with another one. Cool. Welcome to the ASOC But where's the marker of medical supplies? I'm going to call one of my ships over here. What can I get delivered fastest that has an interior... What do they mean they're missing the medical supplies? I think they're saying the Oh, medicals. no. Yeah. He, like, he's not with them. Gotcha. Vulture has an interior. That could get delivered here pretty quickly. How fast could that colors block be here? Three minutes. Thank you. Either three minutes. Cool. So what's the story here? Okay, so Simon's going to try and turn in the food. And then we'll see what happens. Could also just be bugged. 
See, this is why you get people in the community. I mean, so people in the community saying, oh, the, the mission's bugged on purpose because they don't want us to get the reward. Obviously, that's bullshit. Of course, they want you to do it and get the reward and complete it. We've seen the mission teams talking about it. But it does suck that the final phase in the final week is the one that's causing issues for a lot of people, which means they're probably going to have to hotfix it, meaning we're going to have to do it again. Maybe he drops the food and it completes it, but I don't know what's going to happen here. Like we aren't the only ones, there's a few boxes on the floor here. Ugh. All right. Let's find out what's going on. It could just be bugged. I mean, we've heard Overdrive is bugged. Um, we'll probably patch it over the weekend, but I'm not going to just give up that quickly. But he has yeah. the box. There might be a prerequisite nobody's catching on to. This guy's just carrying doubt the it. box around. Like, isn't this where we're supposed to drop it? Is up here? Is there a mission marker for us anywhere to collect it again? Like, could it just be the party's messed up? Do you see a mission marker to pick up the box? Okay, one of the guys is literally just sitting over at Port Tressler. He wasn't even doing the mission. Fuckers. It's not at Crusader. Yeah, it definitely could be bugged. Uh, I don't see a mission to pick it up. Let's see, where is this guy dropping this box off? Hardware admin. Let's go find out who has the box. So for the guys tuning in, we were trying Overdrive Phase 5, but it's bugging for a lot of people on a lot of servers. Um, and it is bugging for us right now. We're having a hard time getting it to, to let us deliver it. So we might have to just do some other stuff in Star Citizen and just um, just try this again tomorrow. CIG have commented that they're looking into it. There was a Spectrum post. So um, hopefully we can try it again tomorrow. But stick around. We're still going to do some stuff in Star Citizen. Um, it's just a matter of seeing who in the party here has the ability to potentially do this. This is the guy here trying to deliver it. All these medical boxes dropped here is because people tried to do this part of it and couldn't. Oh, I see the marker for the mission on this box. Let's see if I can do it. Like, do they even have the mission? Could that be it? Good question. Like, I think that because these guys aren't in our org. These are just like random guys we teamed up with here. Yeah, I'm going to try it because I have a marker on this one. It's not giving me the option to drop it. Like, I, I have the marker to pick it up. Hang on. Where is the marker for drop off? Is it this one or is it the other terminal? I'm going to tell these guys no option to drop can't open the unit. Did we try admin? I'm gonna try admin. Is it only it's only those two places, right? As far as we know, it's only these two places. We're gonna go try the other one now. Cause you said medical supplies, right? I dropped off ammo. I'm currently holding food. The third one is medical supplies. But all three of them are basically giving people issues with delivering. Um, we'll see what happens when I go down to the admin level. It, honestly, it could just be bugged. Like, we're not the only ones saying this. This is this is Star Citizen. Jesus. It's like yeah, we haven't here. accepted it yet, though. Whoa. We're oh. in the bargaining oh. stage still. Oh, my God. So glitched out. That went in, no problem. Let's see if it counts towards completion. Cargo stuff? Try that terminal. That's two of three completed. Oh, sweet. Okay, so where's the other box at? Everything good? 
So where's the medical box then? You know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing they didn't all accept the mission. I'm not going to say anything, but like that, that seems to be what's happening here. So I don't mind. where is the medical box? Did somebody already grab it or do we have to go get it somewhere? I don't see it on the map anywhere. Does someone already have medical box? So I see like 20 of you watching on Twitch and a couple starting to tune in on YouTube, which is awesome because I don't usually stream on YouTube. Uh, if you have questions about this or if you don't usually play the game, just let me know. We're just hanging out trying to do the final phase of this initiative and it's just being a little buggy for us. Uh, we're expecting more guys to log in in a bit and we're going to redo phase one and phase two with some guys who don't haven't done that yet. So we're going to do the intel raids and we're going to do the combat stuff as well. But I would love to have phase five done so I can get that F7A token. I just want to know, like... What's going on here? Does somebody already have it? So I see a bunch of medical boxes lying around. Let me see if one of these was brought by us. Uh, this is medical. The cargo terminal over there is probably what you're looking for. No, nope, can't open it here. I just picked up a random medical box. Let's see if that does it. If it's going to be buggy, maybe we can glitch it out. One was sent to Klesher. Maybe it was inside their ship. Oh man. Maybe, but I don't see a marker for it. And if it was, it should give us a mission to do it again. Um. And no one's seeing a medical box on their map to try to grab. Okay, so this last one doesn't say delivered box. It's just talking about like finding it. Wonder where it is. This is literally on spectrum. Like people are talking about how this is this is being buggy like this right now. So I wonder if we can brute force our way through it. Take a look at your map. Do we see a marker to pick up a box anywhere? Nothing here. No. Yeah. Nothing to collect any boxes on the map here. This is a there's a medical box here. The when I dropped off the ammo and the guy put down the food, it automatically gave me a marker to pick up that box. So this is not the box. I'm gonna get back on my ship and see what prompts it. I'm gonna go play with the boxes. Where were they at? Uh cargo level and admin level at the drop-off terminals there. If if one of them's ours, you'll see a marker, like you'll see a blue mission marker on the box. Is anybody else in chat having this issue with overdrive? Like I'm guessing that what brought that's what brought some of the guys here is that they're having the same problem. I called the cutlass over because the uh, hornet got destroyed, so I'll have something with an interior as well. I'm just wondering if I leave the station, if it'll prompt it or something, you know. Something small and fast. Cutlass. Finery, what the hell? What's that? Take me to the refinery instead of the Galleria. Maybe you collect refinery. No. I... Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, I do know what's going on. It's bugged. But I'm wondering if... we'll be able to kind of make it work, or if we're going to have to find another server and start from scratch. I'm thinking that second one. It's probably what's going to happen. Some right? Somebody did something wrong. Like, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of weak links right there. Well, con it. considering it's our, like, us, our org that are in this party that are the ones that found the boxes and made them work, it's making me feel both proud and frustrated. <laughs> because... Well, you know... <laughs> who, who knows? Like, come on, guys. Most of them didn't even come over here. Most of them were literally just sitting at other stations doing nothing and just waiting for us to complete it for them. Which is really frustrating. So I'm hoping enough of them will leave. Yeah, I definitely do not see a marker for the medical box. 
No. Nothing. Okay. I wonder if, like, if we just kind of head somewhere, if it'll prompt it to work. What else can we do, really, right? I'm gonna head back Here's to. Here, I can bed log, you know. I'm gonna head back towards Hurston. Thank you. Please visit again. Uh, for the guys tuning in, Overdrive Phase Five is being buggy for everybody, so we're just trying to figure out if we can get this mission to work or if we just start from scratch again. But the third box is just not registering for anybody. I wonder if we reshare the mission, like, with anybody in the party or a new person, if that'll prompt it to work for somebody. Because, like, it's probably at the rec site, the same rec site. I'm going to go back to the rec site and see what pops up. Was like, it the same pickup location for both boxes? I think so. It's St. Eda crash site. Oh, ugh. I mean, they were like half done when we jumped in. It, oh, no, nothing had really been done. No, I had the ammo box in my hand when the rest of the guys arrived. I don't know who grabbed the food box, but maybe the medical box is still sitting there. I mean, it's something to I'm do, just... right? Oh, huh, interesting. What's the worst thing that happens? They hot fix this bug over the weekend. We have a week to finish this. Like, it's fine. It would just suck to do all of Overdrive so much and so perfectly with a group. Like we've had what, like 15 guys doing the the data bunkers and stuff, and then like or the full hammerheads doing the uh, phase four or phase three, and then to go all the way to phase five and have it bug out is frustrating. Hey guys. Demos, we're just uh, we're live on Twitch, just FYI. Okay, I was actually just calling to say hey. So. I'm hey man, you joining us tonight? No, I miss you guys actually, but uh, I'm kind of burnt out on on a uh, Star Citizen. That's just something that I do. Is I play one game for a long time. It's too bad you got burnt out right before the community event. I I know, I know. I'm it, it sucks. I just for some reason I don't even know why because I love the game, but I'm just kind of not feeling it. I think I was everyone. I mean, there's probably some guys in chat who are going to jump in and say something here, but like, we all need breaks from it. This is just. Yeah. I, I took a break and I was streaming No Man's Sky for a little bit there. But I really want to unlock the ship upgrade that you get for free for completing it and the set of armor, and Xeno Threat comes right after. What's the ship upgrade? F7C to F7A. Seven, oh, the, the Xeno Hornet? So the F7C Mark II Hornet came out while you've been away. It's a civilian variant of the Hornet Mark II, which is new. Basically, uh, it's it's upgunned, up power planted, less missiles, less maneuverability. That's the very gotcha. short version. The F7A, the military variant, has more guns and more power. Um, I'm not usually a small fighter guy, but I have some store credit, so I might as well fly one. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's a cool little ship. It's anything you get for free for completing an event is going to draw my attention. Yeah. How much longer is the event going on? One more week. This is we're on phase five, but it's being very buggy for everybody. All the other phases have been good. This phase is about box deliveries, and the boxes are basically not registering for some reason. Uh, it's all over Spectrum. It's all over everything. So um, we're almost done it, and then the last box isn't working. But we have one week to complete it. Then I'm going to guess when it ends will be within a week of 3.23 coming out. And then they said Xeno Threat will launch right after 3.23 goes live. I'm going to guess they're just going to give it some bug time for bugs to happen. Um, and then we've got IAE. Sorry, Invictus. Cool, cool. I might catch you later this weekend. All right, I don't dude. Know what I'm doing, but just wanted to call and say hey. See y'all. All right, man. Just talk to y'all again. We're watching, hearing that we have like a we have a decent sized Discord. Not everybody's in our org or anything, but there's just a lot of people hanging on our Discord. And when people take break from the game, they'll jump into chat sometimes. I'm just in our member cons right now, so it's only members jumping in right now. But um, if any of you watching want people to talk about the game with, jump into voice comms like that, whatever. Just links to the Discord there. I'm trying to get us to a certain number of people, and we get some cool custom links if we get that many people, and there's all these reasons to do it. 
Um, I have no marker over here for the crash site anymore. Are they saying anything in chat? No, everyone's just kind of giving Nothing up. new. Just uh, appreciations. It was out of four people. I'm like, I, I think somebody had it in their ship and lost it. I wish I knew where the, the marker was for the, the crash site. Actually. So let's try here. Mission, mercenary. If somebody did say Korea. I'm thinking about just flying over there real quick and checking. Uh, they said Klesher. Klesher. Yeah, they, said they went to yes. prison. It might have been in their ship when they went to prison, which would which would be Sorry. brutal if that happened. Old man brain fart, my bad. Um, nothing. I'm trying to see if I have a mission, perhaps, for the same crash site. Just to try one last thing here. Aerial. Cutter's rig. No. I think we're out of luck on this one, which sucks because we were so close to being done. What do you think? Do we just try server hopping again? Yeah, I mean, that's probably for the best. Okay. Alright, let's get away from here. Either that or we abandon it, wait for it to pop up again in the same server. The server's running just fine. Oh, that's an option. It doesn't need to be overdrive if it's not working properly anyway. I'm going to abandon this one. I hate doing it because we're almost done, but abandoned. And hopefully it pops up again for us. I'm probably going to, you know what I will do? I'll jump back to a US server just to make sure it's like the best connection and more stable. And then if the mission's not popping up, I'll just do some other stuff. We'll hang out on stream. We'll go do some missions. We can also go help uh, some guys with phase one for some ground combat and stuff. Get some more of that armor. Corsair. What's that? That'd be the first time I bed logged in the Corsair. Really? Yeah, the character's been my go to this whole time. Yeah, I definitely don't do that one solo. I mean, I mostly just use it as moving the equipment over from station to station. What, equi what equipment? All my stuff. To get like, you know, one week it'll be over here in Crusader, and I I go around from planet to planet as I do the bunkers. Oh, okay. You do that very differently than I do it. Um, Reverend, I was already in Rula's server. He didn't have it. Bolo is in a server now. Might be in the same one we were in though. I'm gonna leave this party. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right, let's try a different one. Couple more guys tuning in. We're just trying to get Overdrive Phase Five to work. It's bugging out for a lot of people. Um, we're server hopping for a few, and we'll do some missions if it gets boring. We had it. We had the mission. We got it half done, two thirds done, and then it just stopped working. So this might just be a matter of playing the game, doing some other stuff tonight, um, and waiting for them to hotfix this because they have been talking about it. Priority. No, nope, still just jump town. Well, can okay, I just do some other stuff? Maybe it'll pop up for us. It is unfortunate though, because every other phase of overdrive has just popped immediately. Been super handy. Like, no delay, nothing. It's just the mission's just there when you log in. This one's not fantastic. Step one, I'm going to go get some food and water for this ship.
Uh, HTMS writer, that should do. Let's see if this pops up for us at any point, though. Like, for all we know, we're going to be flying for a little bit, and it's just going to suddenly show up. I'm going to keep half an eye on the testing chat as well to see if anybody's talking about this. I really want to ta tag Jake in our server and be like, are we expecting a fix for this? But like, he's literally just going to be like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I doubt their devs are trying to fix a community event, uh, you know, Friday night. Maybe they are. Maybe their team are working hard right now. What's going on? Ah, uh, your server was full. It took me a second. Nothing going on in this one yet. I'm just going to go in and get a new ground vehicle and, um, yeah, find something fun to do over here until hopefully this mission pops up. Constellation Phoenix Emerald. Wow. It's hovering over there. You don't see those very often. Where's the vehicle terminal? Here, there it is. It is so freaking dark. Every ship needs lights at the bottom. Like, this is nuts. All right, grab a vehicle, and we'll do some other stuff until it pops up again. Tack, you're joining my server, yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm on yours. Find some fun stuff to do. My hope is that we're like middle of doing something else, and the mission just decides to appear for us. Not a very good sign for the server when a door's like this. System. How fast can an STV get here? 12 seconds. Zero seconds. Food and water for the ship. Always grab free stuff when you can. My guess for phase five is that we're probably not going to get it tonight after all that. And we're going to see an update. Oh, Mindy. We're going to see an update tomorrow from CIG or something being like, we've hot fixed this. Because it's not just us having issues, it's like every server everywhere. Actually, I bet if I jump to Spectrum and check that I'm going to see something about this. Nothing, actually. Hmm. Well, it'll happen eventually. Have 
we tried bunkers recently? Uh, yeah. In what way? Just in like the way they act, react with you and stuff like that. It's not so easy anymore. Well, 322, they added the Squadron 42 mechanics for a lot of the NPCs in the game. So when the servers are functioning properly, they got tougher. Uh, they, were, they were working properly last night. I was getting... Yeah, it was bad. That's, and that's exactly the thing right now, is when the, if the server's working well, a server FPS is high, the NPCs are tough, and they're going to get tougher in 323. Don't get me wrong, though. I, I immensely enjoyed it. Like, oh, I kept going back. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. As long as the servers are working properly, I really enjoy the new bunkers. The problem is, a lot of the time, they don't work properly right now. And so those brand new, really polished NPCs still just do nothing. But I do look forward to when it catches up and it's better. Uh, still nothing on Phase 5 popping up again. I'm going to go grab some gear for this ship by doing... What do I want to do? Wreck site, ground site, wreck site. Ooh, I got a consignment. You hey. want to do a retrieve? We could do that. It's a 55, so it's going to be a 3. I think we can handle that. I don't have any of those over here. I wonder why that popped up for you. I could always help you guys. Yeah, absolutely. The The idea is we're just going to do some fun stuff until that mission pops up for us again. And if it doesn't, then we'll be at this again tomorrow. Get a party in with so, Yeah, I, could, I need one as well. Yeah, stand by. I forgot that we disbanded that last party. Alright, up we go. Sharing. Oh, I cannot wait for the new notification system. Why do I have a red prospector behind me? That's weird. Just a random hostile NPC prospector in the middle of nowhere. I do. They start shooting up and they're all like, no, why are you shooting me? Yeah. I do really hope that this mission. Where is this mission? It's not popping up for me. Uh, HDSF Tamar. Hmm. I'm jumping in on it. Oh, there it is. Got it. I'm trying to point myself at it, but the map's not working. The map's being the map. The map. The map. I do hope that we don't end up failing Overdrive because this mission just never works. That would suck. Mm. Yes, that would. To do every other phase and then just this one just bug out on us or never, never work. Never even got to do Korea, man. Yeah. It's like we all showed up and then it's like complete. Like we were all waiting to storm the shit out we of had, We were so geared up. Have you. Oh, mission just popped up. Uh, grab priority. It, grab, grab it. I'm trying to. Priority, priority. Where'd it go? It's gone. Why is it good? No! It was there. It was a hot. Somebody else grabbed it. Uh, you want to ask in global if, uh, who has it? Oh, no, it's not under here either. Oh, come on. Really? That was like, that was gone instantly. I didn't even get it. It was definitely there. It popped up and I missed it by like a fraction of a second and it wasn't a mission thing. 
Um, non to priority, non to mercenary, non to delivery. I've looked. I'm not seeing it. Was was a hundred percent there. Oh, you got the good internet. Uh, I think there's a Tyrant on this sucker. Careful. There's a what? On the consignment. Oh, gotcha. Just waiting to see if somebody shares that mission with us. Oh, somebody sent me a party invite. Sweet. Alright, bug it out on this bunker. Oh, did Follow get it? No. I'm waiting to see what happens here. I just got sent so many party invites. Contract shared. Okay, uh, hang on. Can you also please invite Tough Grace? Coordinate both to do it. Yeah, I have the mission. I have it from some guys. They seem to be inviting people, tracking, rec site on Microtech. Redirecting. So more people than just one guy have it. But we're not seeing it. I'm not getting that two or three stuff for that one or what. Okay, so somebody bugged out the mission last time. Okay, that makes sense. But why aren't we seeing it? Like, is our Korea mission not considered done or something? Like, I'm getting worried here. Well, I think when we all showed up and it completed, like, it ruined it for all of us. That's why I was banking on Panzer. You know, if that's the case, then we'll know that, but... That better not... We better not do all of this and then not get the upgrade token and stuff because of some bug there. That would be absurd. History, what well, would be only from the sessions that wouldn't be there. The server's not good. I mean, it said done when we did it last time. So I don't know why some people are seeing it and others aren't. Unless all of those guys were in the same party saying it. Actually, no, I, I take that all back because I did see it pop up globally. I just I missed accepting it. That's what the issue seems to be, is that only one person can accept it and they have to share it with others, which is a weird system. But none of my speculation could be accurate right now because I 100% saw it pop up. I just missed accepting it. So I must be at that phase because I'm seeing it. Still weird, though. Weird system. Uh, more guys tuning in on Twitch, a couple guys on YouTube, cool. Streaming on both. Um, I always have more Twitch followers. If anybody watches on YouTube and you want to switch over from Twitch to YouTube, that would be amazing. Um, jump in chat if you want to. We're trying to get Phase 5 Overdrive done, but it's being real buggy for everybody. So hang out, ask questions, add me, join our server if you want to. Do the typical Friday night streaming nonsense. I almost want a coffee. I had so much caffeine today and I almost want another coffee. Maybe what I'll do is if I get the box, I'm jumping from Microtech to um, Pyro. I'll make a coffee on that jump. I'm also at 50% fuel. I didn't think to refuel when I was getting that ground vehicle. Atomic, I missed your message in chat. Sorry, man. Uh, doing bunkers if you're not busy and want to help. We're trying to get phase five done and then very happy to help with some bunkers if you want, man. Um, are you doing overdrive bunkers or are you just doing regular bunkers? Oh, somebody used my referral code. I got a free Merlin. 
Sweet. I don't know what I need a Merlin for, but awesome. Next segment. What's that? I'm gonna abandon those missions. They'll pop up again in a few minutes. The consignment? Because if we go, we show up, it's gonna be all bugged out. What was that? Atomic gift team out of treat. Let me finish this mission before I get up and get my cat a treat, alright, man? <laughs> you know, I was watching this thing, for, uh, you know, the YouTubers, um. Oh, what are they called? The, the Kiwi guys. Um. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I can't think of the name of the... Viva La Dirt League. They did a video on what it's like to game with a Twitch streamer because like a lot of them are like... Super... They're chatting more than they're gaming. And so like... Oh, I didn't drop out. Um, they're like mid-combat and all of a sudden it's like, okay, we have to be stealthy. Someone's gonna hear us. And then the streamer is just like, Oh, what's up guys? Thanks so much for the hub hype and the <laughs> sub hype and they walk away. Like I, I'm gonna actually play the game, and then I'll do that after. Uh, I need to find a way to jump to this ground site that has no jump marker. So anybody who's watching who hasn't done this, um, this is how you get to a site with no marker. So I'm trying to get here. There's no way to jump to it. There's no marker to it. Just point to something roughly along its path on the other side of the planet or moon that you're at. What you're gonna do is lock onto that and jump. You're going to keep an eye on the site you're trying to get to, and you keep your finger over the U button. And as you're flying along, you're going to wait till you get just above this site. You're going to cut power, because you can't drop out of quantum when you're in orbit. But you can cut all ship power. Turn it back on. Should be close. Uh, 279. I can handle that. If you're looking for a mod, I'm always watching your streams, you know. Thanks, man. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm at the point yet where I need mods, you know? I'm not, like, a big-time streamer or anything, but if I get to that point, I mean, you're in our Discord, you're in our org, I mean, I'll definitely keep that in mind, man. I appreciate that. I mean, literally, I've got like 20 people on Twitch right now, maybe two on YouTube. Like, I'm not some big shot. But if I get to the point where I am some big shot, then I'll, I'll tap you to be a mod. I mean, last week when we did that like four hour YouTube stream late at night with like 10 of us on doing phase three, that was two weeks ago, I guess. I think I was like at the peak. The peak of my fall. I think I had like like 45 live viewers and I just felt like such a big shot. <laughs> so I honestly don't know how the guys do like 200 people watching. I, I don't know how they engage. It takes like a real attention to doing it. When you get 10 billion viewers. So I don't know uh, when you learn geography in school, but it'd be very hard to get 10 billion viewers on Twitch. Tell you what, on Twitch, when I get to like 10,000 followers, I'll consider myself like I've accomplished something and I need mods or whatever. Because you get 10,000 followers, that means you're probably going to have like 1,000 viewers, like 10%. Probably like 1,000 viewers on a regular basis. All right. I'm about 170 kilometers out from the first site. Let's hope this works this time and nothing else goes wrong because it's been, we've been trying this for a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to get their attention to send me an invite, but I guess they're busy. Uh. Party, party. Yeah, it's not my party. Please invite Cat Graves. And share. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's got some of our guys from our work here, but was, you know, we're also in like a group with a bunch of other randoms right now who managed to get this mission before we did. So if you guys are playing the game and you're trying to get Overdrive Phase 5 and it's not working, it seems to be that only the mission pops, only one person can accept it, and it goes away. So I don't know why they did it that way. It's been mentioned in Spectrum. CIG have commented that they're looking into it. But basically, if you don't manage to grab it first, 
you have to go in global and be like, hey, who grabbed it? Can you add me to your party? Can you share it? It's it's dumb. Um, it seems like, like an error or something. So hopefully they hotfix that, but we're trying to actually get it done tonight regardless. So we just went in global and jumped in a party. Looks like Leo's a bit below me. We're going to get there at a similar time. Alright, I'm in party. Panzer, what's up? We'll be on a bit. Real life sucks. Real life does suck, man. Let's all go live in spaceships. Oh, shit. If I could, like, close my eyes and wake up tomorrow, and it's, like, the 30th century, and Star Citizen's real... Here, here, let's be real here. Most of us wouldn't be able to afford a spaceship. We'd be living on, like, Area 18, working the same job we're working now. But we'd be in the future. I always feel like I was born about 400 years too early. But... We're in the game, we're part of the elite. Like, we wouldn't. The average person in this future does not have a spaceship. They live on a planet where we're like the upper echelon of society having our own ships. So, most of us are like, I want to live in the future. It's like, yeah, but you'd live at Area 18, you'd work at a sushi bar, and you'd see citizens go by and just be like, oh man, I wish one day. Or in Natalie's space is very cold. That's another thing. I would like save up and get bank financing to get myself like what would a realistic person be able to afford? Probably like a cutter. You know, if you can get financing for a house, you could get financing for a cutter. Talking like a six to seven hundred thousand dollar ship. And honestly, if you could afford a cutter, it's plenty of ship for one person. You could you could live on a cutter, It'd be like living in a Winnebago. But most people would never afford a Cutlass Black if this was real life. 1.4, 1.3, 1 1.4 million? Like, it's a very small percentage of people who would ever afford one of those. Okay, all three boxes are showing up here as markers. What's Leo in? Leo's in a Redeemer. I'm not seeing any hostile ships yet. Cutter, arrow, vulture. How much is the vulture? Vul vulture is like 1.2 million, isn't it? I don't think you'd be affording a vulture. But the vulture might be a company thing. You might, you might get a job at a salvage company. Um, and fly a vulture. It strikes me more as like a, a work truck. Alright, I'm down. The Redeemer is here as well. We both have cover. We're gonna get ourselves some boxes and see if we can't complete this. Versus personal vehicle. Yeah, exactly, man. I agree with that 100%. Alright, we're supposed to be hostels here. I'm not seeing any. Getting a little bit nervous. Also, can't find a way into this freaking caterpillar. I think a security show up. The worst case, I'll board the Redeemer. Oh, come on. The wind is nuts over here. Oh, uh, they can have those four ships show up. Probably. Uh, I'll stay in the, I'll stay in here. I'm grabbing the ammo crate. All right, we got box one. What other ships could somebody, like, if this was real life, afford, like, the average dude, the blue-collar guy? It's conceivable you could get a bank loan. What the hell? Oh, yeah, they just showed up. That NPC tally came out of the ground. I watched that emerge from the ground. Ammo crate. What the hell? Okay, the marker for the ammo crate disappeared. Did it, did it get blown away? No, it's inside. Unless this guy oh, already has shit. it. It was back here somewhere. Maybe that's what happened last seen, time. Yeah, I think I've seen the problem with the mission. It's right here. There's no marker on Okay, I'm taking it. Hopefully this works. Oh, crap. This, okay, yeah, this tally is all... This is getting crazy. 
yeah, this whole... So anybody who's seeing this, uh, there's an issue right now where NPC friendlies are spawning at ground sites. And they're like flying into your ship and they're blowing stuff up and they're phasing through the ground. And be very careful with these ground sites because this should not be happening. He's like on top of my cutlass. How am I going to take off? I got my Corsair right there. What what is happening? <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, I might just go in your Corsair with you. You want to grab the other box out of my ship? It's on the ship. Yeah, the other one's on the ground. The ammo crate. Okay, you gotta take the elevator. I can't get on the ramp. Copy that. Look like look at that. The IG. Come on. I love this game. But like, I have to abandon my cutlass because of this beat. Look at look at this. These are friendly NPCs that are just refusing to go away. I'm hoping we don't have the same issue this time though, because phase five, like the marker on the box, is gone again. Oh, you mean like we're gonna show up and it's not gonna work? Possible. Uh. It's been a buggy mission, but. Oh, Jesus. Let's just hit the Corsair. Oh, man. They're getting on top of mine now. Get Move it. Wing it out before they get on top of it. Oh, my God. These NPCs are just being ridiculous. Yeah. Anybody who's watching who has seen this, don't be shocked. This is like... This has been happening to all of us. It's super frustrating. It's blowing me away. Why am I going to the roof? I said mess hall. Mess hall. Get on the ship, oh, man. I love this game ramp. so much, but it's stuff like this. It looks like it's trying to dry hump your cutlass, but it was upside down. It was roof to roof. Okay, medical crates in your kitchen. I'm heading to your bridge. Yeah. Are you on the ship? Yeah, I just got on. Okay, I'm just gonna take us off, okay? Yeah. Can you ask that redeemer if he has the other box? I think he does, but somebody has to have it. Your ship's refusing to take off. There we go. Why is your ship so slow? Do you have like all the power out of the engines or something? No, you don't. Weird. Get the wings up. I don't know, I don't really fly it that much. Just feels a lot slower than mine. Okay. So easy enough, bring all three boxes, ship station, like acid that tractor beam. If the third box works, it's been buggy. All right, hopefully he has that box. Actually, it should be easy to tell. I'm just looking around here. Does he... Two of them are in our ship. Where's the marker for the other ones? Okay, he's got the other one. He was down there doing something, so yeah, he probably has it. Uh, once we're clear of Atmo on our way to Pyro, uh, I'm going to move back to one of your seats and just make a cup of coffee while we're on our way to Pyro Jump Gate. If this works, I'll be stoked because then we can just be done and then just go help our other new guys with earlier phases, which is still a lot of fun to do and to stream. But I just wanted this, I just wanted this done. It's been so buggy. The map, no, I'm going to map it manually. The map's going to be BS. I am so incredibly excited for the new map coming in the next patch. Has anybody watching in chat actually seen the new map yet? Like played in, in Ivacati or Wave 1? Because it's a lovely, lovely thing. Chip is yours. 
Atomic, you were doing it? Were you trying it in wave one? Oh, you're a subscriber, aren't you? Is that how you have it? Ammunition crates there. Medical crates here. Hopefully it works. There's no marker. See the but on YouTube. Oh, so sorry. I was asking, have you as anybody played it? Like I've I've actually tried the new map. I'm kind of wondering who else has so I can nerd out with them. Uh keep typing your answers. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Tax fly on the ship. Just bear with us for one second. All right, let's be very over caffeinated together. I mean, seriously, that's the question. It's like, who likes coffee and what's your coffee? I feel like I'm going to start like a reward when I get to a certain point on YouTube. So for people watching who have been helping me grow and stuff, which is like I hadn't streamed in like two years. I started again just over a month ago and it's like going really well. So thank you. Once I hit partner on YouTube, which I'm about 60 days away from if it keeps going the way it's going you can set rewards right so instead of putting ads on your feed which annoy everybody i'm gonna put rewards so it's like you've seen the guys who say like two bucks a month to get your name at the end of my video or whatever so i'll, I'll do all those ones too if anybody wants to cool but i'll do like like a six dollar reward where it's like like buy a coffee but then i have to drink a coffee like like literally just kind of be like and yeah, thanks to atomic for my coffee like <laughs> that kind of thing and just see how caffeinated or like a saturday night do like a you know get a membership for a dollar and i'll take a shot <laughs> just see like how i can fly that drunk oh man i'd buy that for a dollar right but uh, yeah yeah it's been cool because i used to stream on console so no camera uh headset mic Elite Dangerous, and I only had followers because, like, no arrogance intended, I was I was very, very good at combat in Elite. Because I was always ranked in the top leader, boys, people would look me up. And so it was very easy on Xbox to say, top ranked guy, here's his handle, go watch his feed. Uh, people watched me to learn combat, and I that was great. And then I switched to Star Citizen, I'm nowhere near as good at combat as Star Citizen. So I was like, ah, no one's going to watch my bullshit. And then to do it and have, like, you know, 18, 20 people tuning in over the course of a couple hours, you know, four or 500 people total. Um, while we just hang out, especially when it's like the whole orchid, like 20 guys in the chat, we're just shooting the breeze and stuff. Like there's, there's been some good nights with that. So anybody who's watching, who wants to like join in with us sometime, like as long as you have a good microphone, I'm always happy to have guests. So join our discord, ask to join the org and, and we'll get you in streams as a guest. Sometimes it's good fun. Did we just arrive? 
Yeah, about to jump to the gateway. Okay. Uh, you know what we should do? Once we've dropped these these off, especially if the mission's done, um, just for the stream, we should show them the pyro jump gate. Like the 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 flight way that you can take. Because a lot of people haven't bothered flying out here. A lot of guys don't even know it's here yet. And didn't y'all say y'all could jump through the gate at one point in uh, Evo or something? In Evo, yes. They did jump tests. So how did that go? Um... Light show. Pretty quick. well. No, they hadn't. They haven't had the skin yet. It was very, very like the graphics were not. To be honest, weren't great yet. Um, and you had it was. It was way too finicky to get through the gate. You had to like find exactly the right spot, or it would kick you back. Um, the experience honestly wasn't. A lot of people were saying, "Man, I wish I, I wish I had Evo access so I could see it." Um, I actually wish I hadn't, because it didn't look great. And my, maybe that's going to tarnish now what I see the first time. What I want to see is like I want to see it for the first time again when it's actually fully set up. Leave my seat here. Hopefully this medical box actually works. Oh, the marker's back on it. I bet you this is what happened last time, dude. I bet you nobody took it. Or it was one of the ones in the station, but it had no marker on it. Okay, I got the medical box. I'm heading back to the cargo bay. We'll just go together. It's probably one goes to each of the terminals. I got a feeling, man. It might actually work this time. What a heavy box. Put this light gear set together tonight. Got the white TCS4 undersuit. A pair of the microid arms in steel. Black legs and a chest and an Arden helmet. I really like it. It's like a, it's like an up armored flight suit, basically. I love my gear. Just like gear. I saw this this meme, this like joke video today, and it was like um, like a girl asking, like if men could wear whatever they wanted, if society had no expectations of masculinity and what you had to wear and look like, what would you wear? And then it cuts to this Believe. it cuts to this very like like feminine man and he's just kind of like i know exactly what i would wear honey and then they cut it to the hell divers trailer of all these guys <laughs> wearing super intense armor and just like because it's like honestly man, it's true if i could wear whatever i want in society i'd dress like i was an assassin's creed or something big hoods cloaks the armor on your arms like come on you'd wear some badass shit, wouldn't you I was not expecting that at the end. Like seriously. Oh, it was it's great. Like, it was so good. It's just like if you, what, what would men wear? It's just like, oh, honey, I'd tell you exactly what I wear. Da na na na. Hell divers comes on. It was good. I was like, that's also accurate. Like the number of guys who would dress like they were in Star Wars if they had the option. Like you're right. You have the option. It's called cosplay. But like most professional jobs and things like you can't really go in dressed like that i just glitched into the elevator hello i hate it when that happens that was special okay mine i can't tell where that is yet we'll tell when we get up there but how far away is your marker 562 same place we're going to then you would just have a million stormtroopers walking around something like that dude i think something like that Okay, well, no, they already dropped one. Beautiful. We got a good feeling here. Okay, I gotta try Cargo Center first and see if that's it. And otherwise, we'll just go to Galleria. We'll, we'll tell if it's if it gets closer. Yeah, Cargo Center. All the uh, someone's blocked all the freaking. <sighs> In Star Citizen, you find workarounds. A lot of people here. Is this all the guys that are in the party that we're in? Right. Just doing, just doing absolutely fuck all while we do all the work. They're just it's like wait, this me. They're just watching us. That's two of three. Yes. Anybody who's just tuning, we've been trying this for like two hours. The mission keeps bugging out on us. Guy trying to stop you? Like, what's he doing? Come 
Come on. Yes! Overdrive phase five. Fucking A. Okay. Bush Doctor gifted. Hey, five subs to the community. Thanks, man. You know what? I'm new enough to streaming and having that. that I don't even know really know what that means. I just know that you've you've given some people sub status, so I appreciate that, dude. How do people redeem those? If you gift them to the community and not to a person in particular, how does somebody like redeem one of those that they have it? All right. As far as I know, Tack and I are now done. Overdrive makes you a pretty little star next to your name. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that I can also upload custom icons and stuff. I'll say it again. I'm just recently back to streaming. I haven't played with Twitch a lot yet. Like honestly. I just game, I just play Star Citizen, and I stream to convince myself that I'm doing something productive while I game for four hours straight. But eventually, I'll set up some cool rewards, and I'll set up some, um, like, custom emoji and stuff. Like, the, our Discord server has, like, the blob emoji. I'll probably use the blob emoji for this. It just randomly gives it to people if you get the community. Okay, cool. Okay, we're done. I'm pretty sure we're actually done all of it. I don't think anything's fucked up now. Uh... I'm so stoked because I have the F7C and I really want to try the F7A. Um, okay. Party is now just me and Tack again. Who else is on from our group? Let's get Falling an invite. Okay. Has anybody who's on right now, either watching us or anything like that, not started Overdrive yet? Can we maybe help somebody do some of the lower tiers for fun? I know that Folo said that he hadn't, but I think he had to step away. I'm just going to jump into our Discord. I'm just going to ask if anybody needs our help with this. Uh, we are now done phase five. Does anyone need help with other phases? Um, for the guys tuning in, watching us kind of shameless self-promotion, our Discord's growing pretty well. We got like 1,400 people in there. I'd say about 1,000 are there for Star Citizen. Uh, 50 or 60 are in our org you don't have to be in our org to be in there but messages like that like who wants to come join us in the stream and do some missions they go in our discord so there's a link in my profile feel free to join it no expectations to do anything uh but it's just in my bio um i'll also you know what i'll do i'll drop it in the chat here because that seems like something that a streamer should do right create invite copy and discord link Bear with me, Bush Doctor. Come on. I got to get mods. I got to get like, I'll set up auto replies. So when someone's like, um, hey, can I get a Discord link that it just responds and just does it? I'll I'll do all that stuff. I'm, I'm not that pro yet, man. You're getting it on the ground floor of my absolute nonsense here. Keep in mind, we got 20 viewers on Twitch right now. We only have one on YouTube because I'm, I'm, I've only just started using YouTube. So none of this stuff's even occurred to me. Uh, what do you want to do now, Tack? Uh, I'm sitting in my Corsair. Do you need a ride somewhere? Or yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have a ship here. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go. Uh, maybe back to by Genie, because that's where all our ships are, and figure out what we're gonna do with the group here. Okay, hangar five, man. Hangar five. There's another guy in this elevator with me. Just be. Oh, oh he just got out. Um, you can get things to do like Discord or set up. Yeah. So I have those set up in our Discord. Like that one, I understand very well. I have not taken the effort to set them up in. This might not go well. Let's try it. Not worked. Uh, I haven't set them up in twitch yet i will get there there's bots you can buy um like nightbot for twitch and for youtube that that you can program that way you also have to pay for them monthly and i don't make any money streaming like i just stream for fun so i don't really want to spend 20 bucks a month on a bot but i hear you guys you guys want more features and stuff i'm working on it okay Alright, I'm on the ship. We can go. Co-pilot seat active. So while we're flying back, who here has not done any of Overdrive yet? Or has not finished it yet? Because we can answer all the questions. 
Also, if I start talking faster and faster, it's because this is like my sixth coffee of the day plus pre-workout this morning. Atomic hasn't done any. Atomic, are you going to join us tonight? We can help you get through some of that. I know you're, you're in our Discord. Atomic's in our org. You can help them all night. Phase one's a lot of fun with the crew. Phase one and two, sorry, part one and two of phase one are super easy. You can do them solo. Two, three, and four get hard. Uh, you need a crew. Taking a crew and a redeemer or a Carrick makes it, we did it with like seven guys and it was a breeze. Um, phase two was too bad. Phase, tack was phase three, the like basically the war zones. I think so. Like the, all the hammerheads? Yes, that was the one where we, uh, yeah, there was like groups of hammerheads. Yeah. Like, so wingmen around them. So phase three was fun. That was the first time I'm seeing something close to elite dangerous conflict zones in this game. And I really hope that they continue that. As somebody who has a Polaris coming for our org, I really hope that they have more things like that. Because that was intense. Like the Redeemer was having a hard time with it. Um, phase four definitely needed backup because when you're in the Comare, they start shooting at you. And then phase five, as you saw, you, you could do that with one guy, really, if it works. I won't be on a seat tomorrow morning. I made plans for the world, buddy. To play I solo phase four. That was that was interesting. It's not, it's not like it's impossible. It would just be tough to get in and out of the Comare fast enough. I can always tell when my ads come on on Twitch because the viewer count drops. So somebody asked me yesterday, somebody was like, um, you know, why, like, why are you running ads? Uh, you know, just, just turn them off. I'm going to be really selfish here for a second for the guys who are here, who are watching, uh, especially on YouTube or guys with, who have subbed. I, if I stream for four hours and run ads the whole time, like once an hour ads, I make an average of a dollar 63. So it's not like I'm running the ads to like pocket money and buy a Ferrari or something. It's literally the bare minimum ads to make streaming worthwhile. Because if I can stream for like a weekend, I could like go buy a coffee or something. That's not a complaint for guys not spending money. It's not, I'm not begging here. I'm just saying when someone's like, well, why are you running ads on your feed? Well, dude, because I'm, I'm streaming because I like, if I wasn't going to make any money streaming, I just probably wouldn't stream. I would just go, I, I'd keep making YouTube videos that like are walkthroughs and stuff for people. The whole point of streaming is my hope that eventually it's like, ah, uh, you know, 50, 60 bucks a month or something, you know, pay for, pay for my coffee budget. Getting messages in Discord from people. All right, a few guys are going to need support on this in a little bit. Not used to the green on this Drake. What green? The outlines, the pips, everything. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't usually fly this thing, do you? Uh. -uh. My Corsair is like my main ship that I fly. Five mil a month. That's the dream. You know what, man? I um, I work hard. I I, I own my company. I, I work full time during the week or whatever. Um. That's where I'll make my money. Streaming just needs to be... Atomic! Atomic just redeemed, make me do 10 push-ups or dips. <laughs> I won't park until you do it. No. Give me a second here. There you go, buddy. Did you just redeem it again? Oh, you son of a... That was falling? Okay. Well, I couldn't see it because I was on the floor, so... <laughs> Thanks.
Thanks, guys. It's it's redeeming bits, which of course is money. But it's also keeping me moving, so it's like a good workout. Not like 20 push-ups is nothing, right? But like in the middle of a gaming session, getting up and doing push-ups, actually a good thing. That's why I put it there. I should increase the amount and do like that much for push-ups. Those ones use channel points, which are free. What's the difference? I should know that, being the one streaming. I have no clue. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that channel points, like, do something for me. Or maybe it's just an engagement thing. Twitch. How do channel points work? Zach, you're scaring me with your landing here. I'm not used to it. Here we go. Okay, I'm done with this course here. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? Not everyone does. I mean, it looks cool when you're F4ing it. I love mine. You gotta have the Death Star music in the background, you know? Gotcha. Alright, I get it, guys. So it's, they're, they're not like a financial thing, they're just more of an engagement thing. That's cool. What I'll probably do is put like a large amount and make harder workouts or something, you know? Do like, uh, just keep moving while I'm working out. Like redeem, double that, do squats. Redeem, double that, do handstand push-ups, you know? Things like that. Make it real, real difficult to make me do that stuff. All right, Tack, what are you feeling now? Until some of these guys join us that need our help with phase one. I love my Corsair. I kind of like that everybody has different ships that they like. You get in the elevator or should I just go? Redeem 10,000 points. Bounties. I don't know how much missions popping up. What do you got? I'll check in a second. Run a 10 kilometer run on stream. Explain to me how that would work, Atomic. Please. Mm. <laughs> Strap a phone to my forehead or something. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle. Uh, let's see what we got here. First of all, I'm going to fly that little fighter around for a little bit because I don't know how long I'm going to have that for. Because this is probably going to become that rumored Mirai fighter. So what's everyone thinking for ships that are going to come at Invictus? I'm hearing some guys thinking the Polaris is going to make it. I, I don't think it will, personally. But maybe. I could see them pushing hard to get the Polaris out because it's a military ship. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it's going to come at IAE. But cracking. I do have a Polaris for our group. I bought it a while back when it was still limited hull. I was so proud of it. Now it's not limited hull anymore. But uh, I do think that 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 kind of rumored slash teased Mirai heavy fighter is going to make it in for Invictus. What does this person want? He's just like body checking you and looking at your screen. PZ strap phone to forehead with duct tape, run time, sit back down. You know, I do actually have those Ray-Ban uh, camera sunglasses that those can tie. Oh, they can't tie to Twitch though. They tie to Facebook, they tie to Instagram, they tie to TikTok. They don't, they don't tie to, that'd be kind of cool. Put the sunglasses on that tie in. All right, I'm gonna reset my spawn, get some medical, and then we'll figure out what we're doing. Okay, anybody who watches my stream, you see this? Don't do this. This is a douche move. This was somebody trying to find enough cards to block the stairs. Just don't be that guy. Use channel points to show the cat cam. Yeah, I do have to set up a cat cam. She's in like what's the cat cam? The camera on my cat. Cause she's in a different room right now so what i could do is buy like a wireless webcam and then it only gets turned on if someone spends x amount it's like cat only fans just like put the wireless camera in the living room point it at the cat and they put x amount of points and then and then the camera gets turned on cleaning herself just licking her asshole like only fans i mean i wasn't gonna say that but you know it's twitch i'll say whatever i want this doesn't work for kids where she goes yeah it's not that one man although i'm not, I'm not putting a camera on my cat the best way i can describe my cat is she's named after a dragon for a reason if i put a camera on my cat's back i would be killed in my sleep 
All right. Done phase five. We don't get a rewards till May. Um, with 3.23. Actually, I take that. They said we don't get our, our rewards until Xeno Thread is resolved in May. 3.23 might still come out in April for all we know. Where's that fighter? 45 seconds. I just feel like flying it around for a bit. What are you going to get him? I'm grabbing the Inferno. Sweet. One heavy, one light. Not a bad run. Okay, extra ammo just in case we do some ground stuff. Do I have P4 ammo? Ooh, this is being laggy. Ammo, food, tiger's claws, medical, and a knife. Uh, let's make sure I have a tractor beam. Okay, it put it in my hand. That's not what I wanted. All right, we're all good. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. F7C Hornet Mark II. Let's go take a look. Weird tack. I turn around, you're just like on the floor drinking. Well, I don't like to leave this shit lying around, so I'm trying to pick it up. So this is the Hornet Mark II? Yeah, me too. Hornet Mark II. Got a cool paint on it. The F7C. Nice. I'm not a small fighter guy. Anybody who's flown with me knows I'm usually in bigger ships. I prefer big ship coordination, just personal flight style. Although you're in ad break. That's fine. I'm talking to YouTube and I'm talking to subs. I don't need to stop talking just because I'm on an ad break, but I do appreciate you telling me. Um, F7C Hornet Mark II. They can't hear anything I'm saying. Well, that's fine. We're going to just get into the ship. And we're going to... Take it off. When the ad break for the Twitch guys is over, we will continue talking about this ship and we'll continue with our missions. But we finished phase five. So the guys tuning in because it says phase five overdrive, we finished it. But we're going to keep streaming and hanging out with the guys until a couple guys log in who have not done phase one. We're going to help them with that. They're having issues on the current mission right now. Are they? Yeah. What, one of the. That sucks. I don't know if the server is going to be like locked now. We lucked out. We, well, we didn't luck out. We tried for three hours. Oh, and we, we appended it. <laughs> and we yeah. got it to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. F7C. Hornet. Really cool ship. I'm not usually a fighter guy, but... I think it's cool. I'm looking forward to the reward for completing Overdrive, which is the F7A Mark II. Maybe I'll keep it. Um, I think realistically, having flown it, I'm probably not going to keep it. I think I'm probably going to upgrade it to that new Mirai Heavy that's rumored. I like ships with interiors. Personal, not saying there's anything wrong with the ship. Personal preference, I like ships with interiors. So, following just subscribe. Thanks, buddy. Little crown emoji. I gotta set some custom icons and stuff. I'll sit down for a day and I'll do that because I want to have something besides the crown there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if everybody's flown this thing yet. If they love it, um, some guys love little fighters and dogfighting. I'm just more of a heavy guy. I prefer the Redeemer or the Corsair to something like this. But it's fun. I will definitely do a little review of the S7A when I get that upgrade uh, for completing Overdrive. Um, I also likely, like I said, will upgrade this thing to the Heavy Fighter, the Mirai. I don't need more than one fighter pledged. Um, and I want the interior. But that means realistically I'm going to have this thing for a month. Then I'll have the S7A till Invictus, and then I'll probably upgrade the S7A to the Mirai. But it's cool looking, right? I mean, let's rotate the ship. Where's the sun? There we go. This is the. What's your speed right now? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm flying, dude. Thousand. I uh, you're outpacing me by a lot. I should be. You're in a heavy. Yeah, that was pretty fast. This is the iron weave paint. I think it makes it look better. The stock ship comes in blue and looks kind of like a toy to me. I've got two size twos, one size three, and two size fours on my current setup. Um, yeah, it's a fun little ship. I just really prefer ships that I can bed log in. I'm not a fan of having to go back to a port to log out. That being said, this will likely fit in the Polaris. Meaning if I keep it, 
in the future, I bedlog my Polaris, I log in, none of my crew are, I'm not going to fly a Polaris solo, I'm not a fucking moron. So I get in my fighter, and I put a marker on my Polaris, because we know those are coming in 323, mark my Polaris, leave it in the middle of nowhere where no one can find it, and leave in the, in the Hornet. Fly around, do missions, and then go back to my capital ship when the guys log in. When crew bedlogging comes back, let's say I'm playing with TAC right now and four other guys. I'm streaming to you guys, they join in, hey, we just logged in, we logged on the Polaris, we're on it, where are you? Oh, I'm down on the ground doing a mission. I'll fly back up. Give me five minutes. Get to your stations. So, really cool, cool stuff coming to this game. Ugh, fucking more undebatable. Atomic. Alright, where do you want to go to do missions? Do you want to stay around here, or do you want to head to somewhere that has some of the cool ground sites, like Hurston? It's up to you. Those have been kind of laggy, actually, lately. Let's avoid them. I love the new ground sites, but they've been so buggy this patch. Um, You know what? I've just got it. Let's just go... Oh, we still have that consignment mission, too, don't we? I dropped it. I still have it. Ew. But we, now there's a ship with an interior right now, so... <laughs> so that's not happening. Uh, Regular Art Court Bunker, just shared. Might not be completable because of the LT thing, but we'll find out. Is bed logging going to be a thing after 3.23? Uh, what do you mean? Clarify with that. Where's the marker for this mission? Just redeem, give Tia out a treat. Uh, I will do that when the cat wakes up, man. I've got two of them to get her now, and shes I can see her sleeping from here. But I really appreciate that. Thank you. Usually later in the evening, I can pick her up, put her in the stream, and like give her her treat in front of the camera because she's awake on cat time. This is earlier than I usually stream, so bear with me on that one. Uh, Shubin, it's on Lyria. There's just a marker showing up yet. Um, but yeah, Drangus, what did you mean about bedlock? Like, yes, bedlocking is still gonna be a thing for the for the pilot, absolutely. In three twenty three, crew bedlocking has been temporarily turned off since three eighteen because they're working on integrating the technology into persistence. I was really, really concerned about crew bed logging ever coming back because they weren't talking about it. But we have a couple guys from CIG in our Discord server, and I kind of made a fuss about it and was like, is it ever going to come back? And they jumped into our server and were like, yes, it's super important. Yes, it's coming back. It's a key part of the game. It's a key part of multi-crew gameplay. But the way bed logging works fundamentally does not work in the future of the game, so they need to rewrite it from the ground up. So we Did will... Did you read the uh, article they had about that? What, that's whole, what you just said right there? I did not see an article. What was the article? Uh, they basically they the dude talks about how like in the future like in their future vision bed logging isn't really going to be like you know they were talking about the end game. I guess it scared some people, but they would specifically talk about how some guy dropped uh, a line in their spectrum or something on their site, and it, it brought attention to CI. Like they spoke about what CIG's response and everything was. Kind of sounded like somebody I knew. I was like, hmm. Well, but here's the thing. So we had a response from CIG in our own Discord. So as opposed to like hearsay or whatever, I my belief from what I read is that crew logging on ships is a hundred percent coming back. Personal logging on your ships will a hundred percent stay. It's a key part of the game. I could screenshot it from our Discord and post it. That is what they said. Key part of the game. It's going to happen. What might change is that you don't have to get into a bed to do it. It might no longer be bed that's, logging. That's right. That's what they said. It was the bed logging thing yes. they were talking about. Yes. What they've always thing. wanted for this game, if it's ever possible, is true persistence. Meaning you're walking through your ship. You just now this is this part is not me quoting CIG. This is me interpreting what they said. You would be walking through your ship and log off and you would stay where you logged off, meaning you're vulnerable, that you would always be there is the goal for the game. Tack, you're red for me for some reason. Is there a turrets active here? Uh, I'm not taking a chance with it. So you're shooting a turret. That's why you're red. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, is it down? I'm in a little ship. Yeah, it's down. It's down. <laughs> you're in the big boy. Um, so what they want is that you would like, you would just always be there. So either you would go back to a station and go to your hab to log out, or you would park your ship in the middle of nowhere deep space where no one could ever find you lay down if you want to and log out so my understanding is that the bed component of bed logging yes is likely going to go away but that does not mean that logging in and out on your ship or your crew doing so is going away it has been expressly stated to us 
by a member of CIG that the ability for your crew to live on your ship is a key part of the game and will 100% come back. Like, they've been selling things like the Carrick for Deep Space Exploration. You can punch it. Deep Space Exploration... That doesn't work if you have to consistently fly back to port to drop off or pick up your crew. Your crew has to be able to live on your ship. They know that. I was concerned that they didn't know that. And I think it was Jake, hey Jake, from CIG, in our Discord, who was like, no, it is 100% going to be a thing. It's just not working with the current iteration of the game and needs to be redone. So you'll see a lot of very salty... This is not meant to be a knock at other streamers or something. There's just some people who happen to stream who are very negative. There's also some who are way too positive and not realistic. The, the negative guys love to bitch and moan and be like, you know, oh, bed logging's going away. The game's going to die. It's such BS. Nobody has said that. All they've said is it might not be bed logging anymore as a mechanic. That's always my goal on my YouTube videos, in our Discord, whatever. Like, I have my opinions. There are things that I think suck. There are things that I think are amazing. But I only want to post what's actually been said. And then anything after that to be like, okay, this is now speculation. One second. Wave starting. Makes them slow to stand sort of the new ones online. Yeah, and then they need to work out some kind of permissions, right? Or doors. So that, like, you can decide who can log on your ship, who can't. Uh, who does your ship stream in for? Who, if they log on your ship, gets put back at a station? On a capital ship? Who has access to... Um, who has access to the bridge? Who has access to... Like, all this stuff has to get worked out, which is why it's temporarily off. If any of you played Elite Dangerous, think about the capital ships. You could specify who could land, who can dock, who can shop. All of it was stuff you could customize. They need to make it that customizable in this game, too. Because of my Polaris, I might want you guys to all be able to land and hang out with me. But I might not want you guys to be able to access the bridge of my capital ship. I mean, anybody who's watching me before knows that I like immersive gameplay. I like living on my ship. I want to go out of my Carrick and live on that thing for six weeks and not go to a port. So that is a that is a functionality of the game that's very important to me. And it's kind of cool seeing guys in chat that it's important to them too. Just don't believe every Reddit post. Got him on the lawn. I'm going for an hour or so. I'm going to phase one or something. Yeah, man. I'm still around. I don't know how long we'll be streaming for, but if I'm around, I'll help you with phase one. Now that I'm done phase five, I'm very, very keen to help people with phase one and two. And I really enjoyed phase one and phase three. What was phase two again? Phase one, Amtel raid. Oh, phase two was hunting specific ships and collecting the key cards. That was the one that I thought was kind of bleh. If you bedlog, your ship should disappear, though. If you don't, your ship stays in the PU. Well, that's how it is right now. I think what we're talking about is speculation on how it'll work in the future. Like, will it stay in forever? Will it stream out? We don't, we don't know the answer to that. All we know is for sure is that crew logging will return. I need to grow a pair and do these missions. This actually isn't Overdrive anymore. We're, we're done. We're doing something else right now. But you're welcome to jump into our Discord and get some help with Overdrive Phase 1. Uh, phase one is the one you need the most help with. Phase one and phase three. Oh, there's a guy through a door here. Taking fire. He's glitched. Shit. Why am I... This bunker's getting glitchy.
He's he's still hitting me from inside that elevator. That's some crates. I also have zero control of my character right now. This isn't me moving. Uh, put your gun away. Or did you swap guns? Uh, trying again. Now I've swapped. Cool. And severe injury. I'm down through a wall. Oh, Star Citizen. Is he out of the elevator yet? Yeah, he's down. Okay, be, yeah, be careful getting me, because that was that was BS. I'm gonna need to go get medical from a guy glitched inside an elevator. Fall asleep on the bridge, log out, lock the dress, no one flies your ship in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, basically. Like, I'm glad you guys saw that, because sometimes when I'm like, a guy in an elevator got me, everyone's just like, you know, maybe you gotta get better at the game. It's like, no, man. Oh, this is getting ridiculous a little bit. I am uh, stuck on the ground. Like, I can't move. This is, I'm, I'm stuck. Sorry, right, man. Got it. Yeah, I'm up. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I got a tier one <laughs> chest and we get back. Oh, switching guns messed me up again. What is going on with the game today? Look at this. All right, guns again. I did. It's taking out the P4 from the, from the, uh, Dropping this P6. It's the P6 that's doing it. If it'll even let me drop it. I'm glad it ran so well during the event, because if this was happening... There we go. Okay, don't pick up that P6 I dropped. I have severe injuries. I don't need to have a medical gun. Was there a medical box around here you saw? Uh, By the front door. Can't worry about it later then. I can't put on advanced mode either. Yeah, this is not good. I was going to drug myself up. I'll just get to a station after this. <laughs> Wall hacking's been bad. Yeah, I don't think they're actually hacking through the walls. I think what's happening is that, that you're desynced. So they're actually somewhere else shooting you. And you just think they're behind a wall. The important thing here is why can I not... Let's try this. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs going on here, guys. Sorry. This is just how Star Citizen is. Some nights are fantastic. Some nights are not. But, like, I don't even have the option... To turn on my advanced mode right now. Usually you would just click this button. Oh, now it's working. Alright, I'm drugged up. I can move for a little bit. Down here. Where's the last guy? Lieutenant. Oh, and he's not going to spawn. Okay. So, for anybody who's been doing bunkers and they can't find the last guy, there's been a bug since Siege of Orison uh, earlier this year where the lieutenants are not spawning so basically any guy with a backpack will just not spawn at the end but there's an easy workaround as long as there's only one or two guys left you can just leave the area um and when you leave the area it'll auto complete the mission i'm hearing a lot of feedback i think this did panzer just join Panzer, you're giving us audio feedback on the live stream, buddy. For those who are hearing that Awkward. feedback, that's Panzer from our org who has some mic issues lately, but because we're just doing a chill live stream, we're kind of just like anybody from our group jump in and hang out. That's why you're hearing that. Check one, two. I can hear you now. Oh, oh. 
all, there he is. all that feedback was uh, was lovely for Twitch. I have no idea why there was any feedback at all. It's popping, not feedback. It's popping. Shouldn't have been any. I was having like an issue like that too. Panzer has great voice quality. He just he just has some uh, it's a cable one issues. Connection. Yeah, yeah, it's a Y out. It's a Y splitter. I had to get. Which I've been looking for a better one, by the way. I'm gonna go get medical because of that freaking glitch. Oh, we both took damage. I got a tier one chest though from the guy behind the door. Ew. Yeah. Ew. I had to drug myself yeah. up just so I could walk. Where are you guys at? We are uh, around our court. We just finished phase five. It's been very, very buggy. If you see it pop up, we're happy to come help you with yours, but it's it's been buggy. The boxes aren't not like basically it's box missions, but the boxes are losing their markers, so then you can't figure out where to put them. They did talk about it on Spectrum, like they know what's happening, they're working on it, but we we managed to just keep trying until we brute forced our way through it. Like inexperience was an issue too. Yeah. Not us. It was like the guys we were doing it with. There's also a mission it's issue. Handling. Yeah, there's yep. also a mission issue right now where it seems to be that if it pops up, that nobody whoever takes it nobody else can take it so it's a global event that disappears when someone takes it which again they're aware of they've talked about it but it's really annoying because then you got to go in global and be like oh who grabbed it can you share it with us that's what we did twice and the second time it worked yeah that would be annoying i need my apollo medevac already yeah a lot of people are excited for that one i'm i'm i think it's a cool looking ship i don't really plan to to i'll get one in game i'll probably eventually think of like elite dangerous eventually you have every ship in game once the 1.0 game's live, no more wipes. Yeah, we'll save up. I don't see myself pledging one, but there's two guys in our org who pledged one who are super stoked for it. I think one has the triage and one has the medevac. And I think you're right. I think that they will fit in the Polaris. Trauma What's that? Trauma Irwin. Trauma, trauma. yeah, he, he has one on the way. Of yeah. trauma. Never plays the game, but he has one on the way. Just because of his job. <laughs> Medic's been in the org for a long time. He's a great guy. I like him. But he is one of those guys who's guilty of I don't play very often, so I'm gonna pledge more because it's gonna help me catch up. And he's not taking into account the fact that engineering is gonna make it impossible to fly those ships solo. Not the oh, not yeah. the not the medevac. The medevac actually is a one or two person ships here. It's it's like cutlass sized. So you're fine with that. But um yeah, put it in the Polaris. Yeah, I, so I, I grabbed a Polaris for our org. Whenever that comes out, we'll have one. And I, I am pretty sure you're right that the Apollo does fit in there. I'll probably just put a medical Pisces in it myself. But if somebody like you showed up and was like, hey, I've got a medevac with me, then obviously we'd swap out the Pisces for that. So do you guys see the uh, leaks, not leaks, the teases of what's coming in uh, Xenothreat this time? Idris has an interior now. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Yes, I saw that. So if you can't kill it, board it. Board it, clear it. That's going to be so... Because the only thing is Xenothreat's usually the lowest FPS, buggiest mission that they do. So it's going to it's gonna get rough. But it's going to be fun. I look forward to seeing medical crafting and operating on patients, replacing arms. I don't know... I don't have an answer. I don't know if they're ever going to go that far into it. It sounds really cool. But I do look forward to medical mattering. Like, because right now you can just use a med gun, put them back on their ship. I look forward to, like, med gun stabilizes them, that you have to get them to a medical ship. Uh, and that's where those ships are going to matter. Like, I have the Carrick that has the med bed, but it doesn't have a tier one. So, I look forward to medical mattering more. Especially as an explorer. If I'm in the middle of nowhere and I get, like, a tier one leg injury, I don't want to fly back to civilization. I live on my ship. My crew lives on my ship. Being able to go in Discord and be like, I need medical support back at, you know, Pyro 4. Um, and have someone show up would be cool. If you finish the threat missions, you get a free ship or just an upgrade. Uh, so if you finish them all, uh, then when Xeno Threat's done... Oh, I'm fucked up over here. Uh, then you get an upgrade token to... From the F7C to the F7A. Mark two. Mark two. So I have the F7C Mark two right here. Mainly, I'm not even a fighter guy. I just have it because I want to see what it's going to be like when I upgrade it for free to the F7A Mark two. 
So yeah, just an upgrade token and a set of armor. You get a set of Xenothread armor to keep as well when you're done. But none of it's going to show up in your hangar until Xenothread is done in May. So before Invictus, but after 3.23. They have confirmed Xenothread's going to come just after 3.23 comes out. So that's going to be a real rough couple of weeks for performance. 3.23, all the players who aren't playing come back. Free fly event for Invictus and Xenothreat going on. It's going to be an interesting time for playing the game. Especially if you're new, you will not have experienced this level of lag and bugginess before. But don't let that discourage you. Play the game. And if you need people to play with, uh, there's a link to my Discord in my bio, and I'll post it again in a minute. Like, jump in. You don't have to join our org to join our Discord, but we always have, like, public comms and stuff in there to jump in and ask questions and fly with people. Xenothreat, you don't want to do solo. Xenothreat, you can't really do solo. Like, you kind of need a crew with cargo capacity, a ship with cargo capacity, and a crew with you to help out to really appreciate the event. Who's got the party? I have the party. Give me a second. I'm just getting medical. Wasn't rushing you, just asked. Oh my gosh. Calm down, don't be so sensitive. No. <laughs> I cannot click treatment. Alright, so you're at R Corp or. Bajini. There we go. Bajini. We just got back to Bajini. Alright, I'll grab my eye on and head that way. Sweet. It's gonna be worse this year at the boarding event. Yeah. Absolutely. I saw someone smuggling his buddies in an empty gimbal slot on that ship you're talking about. Which one? Oh, sorry, I'm not following you. I've got my medical stuff stuck up on my screen right now. It's really frustrating. Friends, Panzer, Invite. Oh, it's gone. Beautiful. Except. Empty gimbal slot Except. on that ship. Trying to follow that. What's that extra screen on the medical bed? Is that like it's gonna have to be done by a second person eventually? Well, I think if you have to drag somebody to medical, like in the future, if the medical uh, stabilizes them, then you gotta take them to the station, put them in a cart, wheel them through the station on the hover cart that they've shown us to the bed, transfer them to the bed, and then medicate. Yeah, that'll be that'll, that's where medical guys will come in. Is they'll like transport them to their ship, stabilize them, and then bring them to a medical facility. It'll be a whole thing. Put some real guns on those boys and you've got a real threat. The upgrade you're talking about. The F7A? Well, no one's seen the F7A Mark II yet. It's not It's not in game yet. Which pad is my ship I mean, on? It's a, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be a beast, but... That's ah, upgunned from the F7C. It's actually, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's got more firepower than the, than the Lightning. I'm just gonna check all the pads because the marker's not there. Drone med bed floaty. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what medical drones are gonna be like. Because we know they're coming. Like the ability to send a drone. Is it gonna gather them? Are you gonna have to put them in it? I don't know the answer. But I'm looking forward to finding out. Am I literally trying every pad in the last one? What the hell was I looking at? I don't know, man. I don't know what you're looking at. This looks like a sentinel. Yes, it is. But this is the F7C Mark II. With a cool paint on it, because I didn't like the stock blue. I thought it looked like a Tonka toy. This looks cool. I'm not keeping it, but I will definitely take the free upgrade to the F7A and try it, and then probably upgrade that to the new rumored Mirai ship. But I, you know, I was saying earlier, I just prefer ships with interiors, personally. For living on board, bed logging, whatever. But... It's a cool, it's a cool looking ship and it's very effective. And if the... If the, uh... F7A has even more firepower. Like, you can kind of outfit these ships however you want, right? You can, you can organize the guns and gimbal whatever you want and fix whatever you want but right now the anvil i'm just going to record really quickly the anvil f7c mark ii can have two size fours one size three and two size twos is what i have on it right now 
which is a crap ton of firepower. That's more pilot DPS than the Redeemer. The Redeemer's all about the Thanks. turrets. But, like, think about that. It, it, two fours, one three, two twos. It's good. It's good firepower for a little fighter. If you go to the S7A, it has four threes and two fours all gimbaled. It also has an extra power plant. Sorry, a larger power plant. More quantum fuel. Everything else is basically the same. Missiles are the same. Yeah, so it's just it's upgunned. But I mean it it it's it's cool. It's very cool that, that exists. I didn't think those pad elevators still worked. What do you mean? Nothing wrong with the I mean, pad elevators they bug out, they have issues, but they work 90% of the time. Um, missions. What do we got for missions over here? I was, I was hoping for an 890. An 890 would be fun. Those should show up over here. Uh, let me see the outside of that ship, please. Sure, man. Actually, you know what? Let me take off so you can fold the wings out. The Anvil F7C Mark II Hornet. The gun on top is not their stock. Stock, it just has like an empty... That's a utility mount, so you can put other stuff on there, too. I chose to put two size twos up there. One size three on the nose instead of two size ones, I believe. And two size fours fixed on the wings, which are ballistic for mine. If you're a fighter guy, it's a good little ship. Like I said, I'm not going to keep it, but it's a good little ship. You love small little ships so much, though. Come on. I, yeah, it's just not my thing. I, it's it's also like a just different style of flight. Like it can be squirrely trying to land shots and like. Um, I'm not seeing any 890s. You know what I'm really hopeful for with them showing us that there's now an interior to the, the Idris at Xenothreat, is that more missions like that will start popping up. Board the Idris and clear. Board the 890 and clear. Board the Hammerhead and clear. Like more instances where there's guys inside the ship. Which means, what about salvage missions in the future? You go to a hammerhead to salvage it, you find dead bodies on it. I've talked about this before. There's like rare guns on the racks, there's dead bodies with cool armor on. Like, we're starting to find more stuff. Okay, that was it. Someone removed the gun, give all two persons laid down. Um, are you talking about the top here? The ball? Because, yes, the default is a compartment, like a box compartment. I didn't know people could fit. That's interesting to learn, but by default, there's actually a little compartment up there that you could put a box in from a box mission. I chose to go to Area 18 and buy a military ball turret for the top of it to give myself more firepower. Um, still no 890s. Clear. I'm just going to go... I'm going to do a bounty. You guys are in two big ships, right? Ion. Ion and Inferno, I think, the two of you. I'm sharing an ERT. I can't do an ERT solo in this thing, but it should be fun. I can take the little guys, you guys can take the big guys. Got it. A couple guys tuning Something. in on YouTube. So I usually only do Twitch. We've got like our usual like you know, 20 guys on Twitch, which is cool. I see a couple of you tuning in on YouTube. Thank you. Um, this is like my second time actually pushing my Twitch to YouTube. Um, yeah. I wanted to say. See a couple guys on a new platform, it's always cool. Just a pick on Reddit I saw. Did you save it? You should jump in our Discord and post it, because I'm really curious to see this. I like this paint a lot better on this ship. This is like really growing on me looks wise. I want this this paint for the Carrick. It gives me hope because it's on an anvil ship. Like steel and bronze like that, this uh, this is, yeah, I would love to have my character look like that. I only do YouTube Twitches too much. And that's why I started doing it, man, and some guys just aren't on Twitch. Like, I was Twitch only for the longest time because it had a console support. I, was play I played a lead on console on Xbox. Now that I'm on PC for Star Citizen, I was like, well, I might as well start doing YouTube videos. 
and then I might as well start streaming from Twitch with Restream to YouTube and see if it grows, you know? I think I'm in your Discord. Cool, man. I don't think I've seen your name pop up before, but I appreciate that. I'm trying to get our Discord, like, we have, like, it's like 1,500 people, it's cool, but I'm trying to get to a certain point of activity in our Discord, because if we get just a little bit more active, we actually qualify for um, Discovery. So we're already a community server, which is cool, but Discovery means that you actually can be searched and recommended to people on Discord based on their interests. So if we have, like, I think it's like we need 100 people talking on a weekly basis. Right now we're, like, at, like, 98 people talking regularly, which is about 10% of our server, which is pretty good um being able to like have discovery would just make the server just spike which would be cool i think you got closer than i did tack yeah you did cutting power and jumping to you Aw, dipping attacks not an option. Alright, well we're gonna do this my way then. Good. You following this Panzer? Yeah, I'm trying to get there. I had to land it in B point and do a few things. Gotcha. Cutting power now. Should have gotten us really close, actually. Might not have to jump attack. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yep, yeah, that's ours, man. Project Tech is our Discord. Ooh. Yeah, you're in our server. Look at this. I'm gonna do this. Bam. That's just like the general welcome area. You can like go to the Star Citizen forums and go in Star Citizen chat and hang out with guys who play this game at a server, of course. But like, I just tagged you in like a random message in our in our welcome area. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I've learned recently that like navigating Discord is not like organic to everybody. I I use Slack for work for so long that this has just become like super easy for me. Tack, you're already on that Carrick, aren't you? I just see it flash in red as I lock onto it. Everything here is very, very big for the ship that I'm in to be fighting. Oh god. This is why I'm usually in big ships. There goes the Carrick. I am not going near that hammerhead in this lightning. Lightning. Uh, you know what I tried to say. Hornet. Ooh, we got some lag going on here. Be careful. Where are you going? Straight to hell. Shut his turret off. There he goes. What do we got left here? Another constellation. I'll go start on him. I'm avoiding that hammerhead. So not used to these little squirrely fighters. My reticles all over the place. There he goes. Just the hammerhead left. Ah, fuck! It was worse that can happen. Hammerhead's down. Yeah. But the guys watching that wasn't me that got the hammerhead. I just got like the last shot on him. There's the the two big gunships that were shooting at him. Do 
want to see if we had any cargo? In three fighters? <laughs> yeah. What? Why, just so we could find a, a bunch of weevil eggs and be like, dang. A couple of us sit here, somebody go get a ship. <laughs> we could do that. Go, go ahead and scan it. <laughs> it it's a dream, Panther. It's, I, I Trust me. Hey, hey, my dream, let me have it. Why you gotta beat all that about it? Jeez. <laughs> All right, what's our next thing? Cargo. Tungsten scrap, corn, backslide. Huh. Two SCU of gasping weevil eggs. Actually? Yes. Huh. We don't have anything to co collect them, though. Is it really worth it for the one million? It's only, it's two SCU. Yeah, it's like, uh, 100K? 200k? Let's just leave it. Yeah, we got 200k. That's like a drop in the bucket, man. Panzer, what stage of overdrive are you at? We should probably be worrying about that. I haven't even, I haven't even started it, man. None of it? I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready for stage five. Remember, we finished off stage four. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you did none okay. of. Okay. So, but from your description earlier, you need to pop you up. I want to hold off. Well, no, we got. If you see it pop up, take it as fast as you can. If somebody else takes it, then you gotta find somebody else to do it with you. If you see it pop, take it, and then we'll do it with you. It's just, it's popping up for the whole server. It's kind of irritating. I'm really looking forward to um, Arena Commander in 323 having private duels. Yes. To get the PvP training at the same level that we could do in Elite Dangerous, where you could kind of just have a like one-on-one -on -one duel and not risk the loss of everything. Uh, I'm not seeing any epic ground missions right now. I'm not seeing any 890s. I had more bounties, of Hurston. course. Hurston would be the new ground sites, which have been really laggy this patch. Yeah. Like, really bad. I've got a high-threat combat beacon. Take it. Let's just do that. I'm getting a little low on ammo here, but uh, I'll, I'll, if I have to go rearm, it's fine. Just go get an ion. Just go get an ion. I, thought I already have one. I think I only have the in front of this patch. Uh, missions taking its sweet time popping up. There it is. Go to Kenzen Sussman. Sussman, really? This is probably a trap. This is sus. This is this is sus, man. Sustainable? Yes, sustainable. Thanks, Grandpa. You're welcome. I always feel like I'm getting old, and then I talk to Panzer. Does that stand for right. sustainability? Uh, Alright, we're here. Hey, I do what I can to make you guys feel young, all right? You do it well. Well practiced. Um, Jason Baby Morales. Got a reclaimer right next to me. Goody. We've got like three, four Ouch. contacts now. Five. Destroy. Pop this down. Six. Moving on to second cutlass. I'm working on the redeemer. Didn't even see the redeemer. Watch the hammerhead. Sorry, reclaimer. Gotcha. Cutlass is not letting me catch up to it's him. It's a re. It's a re thingy. Ooh, they're being a little laggy. Cut us down. I'm kind of avoiding that hammerhead in the hornet. Your parents know 
Prospector down. Oh, he's not dead. He just lost his engines. He's still alive. Well, we'll deal with that. Hammerhead down. Oh, he tried to kamikaze me. How is he not dead yet? He's a prospector. Prospector is... I've done three passes in a fighter and he's still... He's still going. Now he's down. Yeah, but... That was rough. Alright, I need ballistic ammo. Which moon are we near here? Walla. Moon, moon. Oh, oh yeah, we're right here. Well, I don't want to jump to party member. I want to jump to wall. I cannot wait for the new map. This map is just so rough. Just let me zoom in on Walla. Come on, Star Citizen. For anybody who's watching this who watched me in Elite and found out that I'm streaming again and doesn't play Star Citizen, I, I would like to preface or or follow up my previous comments with Star Citizen actually is great. There's nothing else like it. It blows the lead out of the water as far as content and immersion. It's just an alpha and it has bad weeks. And because of the events going on right now, it has been buggier than usual for the past week. And so, you know, if you're watching a live stream about it, you're going to hear us moan about it because there's going to be issues. We're going to die to weird bugs. We're going to have stupid stuff that irritates us. But at the end of the day, you're never going to find us in Spectrum, you know, which is their bespoke social platform or Reddit or whatever complaining about the game because in the grand scheme of things, it's phenomenal. And it's very, very close to being a finished product. Or not finished, it's live service, but a, a live product. Live service. I'm working at the final details on the first podcast style video we're going to do. we got to figure out who from the org wants to be a guest. Maybe just one person to start and do like a, like a one hour podcast where there's no, there's no video. It's like voice. Where are you, where are you heading to, Boulder? 061. Got it. Let's go third person. Looks better on stream. I like the articulating little thrust reports at the top as you're flying, as it stabilizes itself. Where are we? You can see in the notes for 323, they've made it that when you deploy your landing gear, that it throttles you back pretty hard. A lot of guys are complaining about that. I kind of like that idea because sometimes you're coming in way too hot in fighters. Now you deploy your landing gear, it'll automatically slow you down. Is true. Oh, this is the stock paint for the ship that I'm in, by the way. This is the F-70 stock. It looks to me like they've put... Is that a size 5 they've put on the roof? Yeah, so what they've done is they've pulled... They put, Oh, it's probably a size 4. I think it's a size 5 gimbal, size 4 mount. Whatever it is, they've put a bigger gun on the roof. Actually, I might be able to pull that off and use it, depending if the ports are unlocked or not. Let's find out. Are you coming here to rearm repair, Panzer? Yeah, I've got to get some hydration. Right. I'll down. get off the paddle before yeah, I try but... this. I don't know if this is going to work or not in no. armistice, but... Go ahead and stay. You can stay on the pad. I can... I'm not needing to rearm or refuel. I just need to rehydrate. Gotcha. Let's try something out here. Everything's going to 3.23 now for sure. I wouldn't be worrying about the current PTO service state. Yeah, they're not worried about it at all. They're actually... They're st all these events are stress testing it. Whenever they run these events, they're not trying to make them run well. They're trying to stress test them and break them and see what works. So, I'm not too worried. I'm, I'm doing my part. Okay, the ports are, are, are not Would unlocked. Like so we will not be able to take this gun off and, and steal it. But that We're looks like a size 4. Is that a mass driver? They put something big on the roof. You can definitely do that. I chose to go with the, the two size 2s. But 
yeah, uh, these have to be turned off the ports in the ship, and I can't get in somebody else's ship like that. They probably heard about the new meta of the mass drivers in the PTU and thought that it was something that works in the PU, and it doesn't. <laughs> and it's not staying like that. The, the meta is like, they've already said it's broken. It's not supposed to be doing that. I can't wait till we get bounty hunting, and then we can get the cops' background music mm -hmm. and, like, just pull a puppy pull. Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> So, so I'm going to preface what I'm going to say next with I played this game way too much as do so many guys in our group <laughs> and so I happen to know a lot of stuff with this game because I pay attention to it because I read the stuff on the, the forums and I follow up with the devs and I, I watch the videos but I don't oh, 10 push ups god damn it man um, but I I do there's a lot of people out there who play the very, game very casually there's nothing wrong with playing the game casually but a lot of guys who play casually also think that reading a quick Reddit forum or post gives them a good level of information in the game. So you'll see guys being like, oh yeah, 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 I've had this game for five years, I play it three times a week, and this is what's happening in 323. It's like, it's not what's happening. It's not like, I'm not saying I'm smarter than them, it's just like they're not reading, they're not looking into it. So all I'll say for information is like when you hear something is happening in 323 or 3.24 or 4.0 or whatever, just do five minutes of your own research because it, it, honestly, there's a lot more accurate information. At the, like in our Discord, for instance, I set up a, a bot. It pulls stuff directly posted by devs on Spectrum. It's very informative. You hear someone saying like, oh my God, this is broken. This isn't working. Is it? Let's get the actual answer. Okay. Somebody on Twitch redeemed that I have to do push-ups. Who was that? Drangus. All right, buddy. Here you go. Are you doing a main cadence? All right, man. Thanks for keeping me moving. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll start adding other stuff too to keep me kind of going while I'm working out, or while I'm gaming, so I actually get up, add squats, add handstand push-ups, add I don't know. Get it, boy. Burpees. Man, burpees. Get to, burpees are never going on there. Go fuck yourself. Oh, come on, you know you want burpees. I hate burpees. I actually loved them uh, when I was younger. I have a really bad left shoulder now. Like, there's a lot of I got like, severe injury here, so burpees are really hard for me to do because the way my arm articulates. It's like I used to do a lot of pull-ups. I can do them. I have the strength to do them, but straight bar pull-ups I now can't do because of what it does to my shoulder. So I can only do close grip pull-ups. So I just switched to close grip. So when I go to the gym now, instead of doing heavy pull-downs, I do heavy close grip pull-downs, which actually works your lats more. It just kind of focuses. It doesn't do as much of other parts of the back. But you kind of have to like adapt when you get injuries like that. Oh, I got a couple bunkers here. Um, I found a red quick flare. Nice. Got some iceborne orcs legs. Ooh, nice. They'll be in this uh, red box here in this drop off area. Are you guys almost ready to get back in your ships? I have a high threat. Just about. Let me chug some water real quick. Oh, wait, I don't want it to expire, and I can't do it alone in the Hornet. It's too small to deal with the big ships. Old martial arts teacher had us do surprise push-ups while we were doing other routines. Yeah, sounds like it sounds like a martial arts instructor to me. I, um, I grew up doing traditional Japanese martial arts, and I had, uh, I had a sensei named Toshi Hoki. He's a very traditional. He was from Kyoto, Japan. Didn't speak very much English. And it was like something straight out of a movie when he would tell you, like, you know, to stand straight he's like more straight more strong like he just like very very elegant sounding but broken english and so he didn't make us do push-ups or anything but what he would do is he would come along and he would like he wanted you to have proper form but still be loose enough that you could do a proper give and take and so he would come along and he would just hit you because like one of the marshals said it was kendo which is basically japanese fencing um, and so you would use the shinai sometimes, which was bamboo, which had some give, or you'd use the boken, which was solid oak or, or maple, whatever you had. And so he would come along, and sometimes if you were like not doing things properly, you're wearing armor, right? So I'm not saying like bare skin, but he would come along and just like crack you on the skull with like full force, and then he would tell you why he did it. 
just like bad posture or like n n no movement and it's just stuck with me throughout my whole life this guy like he would just come along you're doing something wrong and he would just absolutely clobber you fighting the guy was so interesting because he would be telling you move your feet move fast move around dodge and he would be standing there like a brick just circling you and if he had one opening he would hit you so hard that you almost dropped your weapon because he was just so good 240 pound overweight japanese man who could just demolish 18 19 year olds with black belts with while, while looking at something else he would like watching somebody else practice and you would go to him he'd just go block hit and he would just fall over because he was just that good attack him coming to you i'm taking this high threat just get to me when you can if it even pops up, might oh there it did popped up sweet. Sure. Yeah, I'm just getting clear about now. I didn't know how fast it was gonna pop up, so I closed it. Sure. A couple more guys streaming on Twitch and a couple guys on YouTube too. Like I said, streaming on YouTube's new for me. I'm usually just on Twitch, so the fact that anybody's watching, thank you. It's great. I like the YouTube interface better, so if I can restream from Twitch and YouTube at the same time, why not? Plus, no ads on YouTube. Plus, no ads. Alright, I'm spooling on the beacon. Same. Jumping. Jumping. On grid. Three, two, one. On site. Going for the Valk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andromeda. What if my... They did say that your fire groups and stuff were going to persist in the next patch. Especially your lead versus lag pips. This keeps changing back to lead. Almost there. Forgot Almost Connie's there. can be dangerous from the front. Yep. Got more bad guys on my scope. Yes, they can. Down. We get more dangerous too in 323. Yeah, I saw that. Where's this cups going? Durable cutlass. Destroyed. Durable Connie. Oh, you're gonna regret killing them. Ah, oh, fuck. How did I not explode? I, I'm lodged with it. There you go. Well, I didn't pull up in time. I was like, well, I'm dead. I kamikaze him and I didn't explode. That was a bug working in my favor. So you guys seeing this lag here as I'm shooting and the reticles jumping all over the place? This is just a bad server. Me not dying there was also a bad server. I should have exploded when I flew into him. That was my fault completely. He's not down enough. The cool thing about these is you can board them and see if they have like cargo and stuff too, which is always kind of a cool it's mechanic in this game. Right it's not a done mechanic yet. Like there's, there's, you just kind of go to the cargo bay and pull some boxes off. But it's, it's really cool for when eventually it is fully complete. And one passenger, just Peterson on there, even though the turrets are firing. <laughs> Your nose was trapped. My nose was trapped, but I should have exploded. I hit him at full speed. So like as I was shooting him, his reticle was all over the place. I was, it was he was just lagging, and so when I pulled up, 
he moved up too and I flew into him. And as it happened, I was like, well, I'm dead. And then I didn't explode also due to lag. If in the next five minutes I just randomly explode, that's why. Um, I don't see really... I see bounties, but no good player bounties. Mercenary... I see some regular ground sites. And you haven't seen uh, Overdrive for You pop up yet, Panzer? Nope. Okay. I was really hoping for something good to pop up. Qualified comm tech needed. I, I, I know what kind of mission that is. I've never seen it titled that way before. Salvage I don't feel like doing right now. I'm really hoping 890s would pop up. Could go to a regular bunker. Why not? Sure. Something to do. We're going to play with our keybinds a lot in the next patch. They've added a whole bunch of things we have to have bound and memorized and. Especially if you have like a HOTAS or a gamepad or something, you have to map a whole bunch of things differently. Like cycling targets, but then also cycling modules, zooming in on the modules you've cycled, switching from SCM to NAV, etc. Are all going to have to be bound to something that you can memorize. They're making the, ga the game's getting a lot more complicated. So what's everyone doing that's watching? Are you guys playing? Or are you just kind of doing something else but wanting to be in the game so you're watching instead? Spell 21, right? Yeah. Yeah, spell 21. You know... I said the F7C looked like a toy and looked like crap when it was the stock blue. Like, I picked it up because I had store credit. I upgraded an LTI token to it when it came out, and I tried it and thought it looked like crap. Now that I've put this concierge paint on it, I kind of like it. I didn't think it was just a paint that was a ship. I think it looks kind of good now. I would like the cargo bay to have a different key on the rest of my doors. That's not just your OCD talking, that's just tactical good sense in a world. Like, they need to 100%. I don't think that'll be a keybind in the future, though. Like, a keybind for each door wouldn't make sense to me. I think it'll be an MFD panel. I think there'll be a panel, like when they have resource management, you can see parts of your ship, that you would look at the panel and you would click a door open. So, think of, if you're solo, it means looking and clicking. But imagine in a crew, you're in the Carrick, you've got six guys on your ship. You're flying, you've got a guy in a turret, you've got a guy back in engineering. You've got a guy on the bridge who's working comms, who's hailing the ships you pass. Maybe that guy also, as you're coming in for landing, you're like, yeah, just pop the front door open. So it's not also opening the roof. So I don't know if a separate keybind for each door, that'd be a lot of keybinds, but I, I, I think it'll be an MFD. I'm almost certain that they'll do that with MFDs. It just makes sense. I would also like one for being able to open, close, and lock all internal doors. Lock, especially. Well, there is actually a button for lock, just doesn't do anything right now. But being able to um, being able to open all internal doors and something like the Carrick or the Corsair or, or the Hercules with a lot of doors uh, would be great. Because if you're on a long flight, let's say you're flying from like Stanton to, to the Nyx system, and you're going to be out there for a while. Being able to walk freely throughout the ship without having to open and stop and open each door as you go. Or they have to make doors way more responsive. Yeah. Which could be a server lag thing, but right now doors are not responsive enough. There's a lot of like standing in front of the door waiting for it to open, and it's just not ideal. All right, just waiting on you guys. I'm landing.
But I tell myself when it comes to like, I don't, I don't make any money from Twitch. I was like, when I, when I make my first like 50 bucks, I'm using it at Invictus to buy a ship for a giveaway. I'm hoping that the Mirai Pulse, that little bike, is actually coming. Um, that'll be like a little $40, $50 ship, buy that for a giveaway. And the next thing I get is going to be one of those LED strips for above my PC so I can have like some colored lights here. I bought a ring light. Like, I, like the past few streams at night, I've had a ring light on. I don't like it. It's so freaking bright. Uh, even when you dim it, it's just way, like it's distracting when you're trying to play. It's blinding me. It's hurting my eyes. It, I bought a cheap ring light. I think I'm just going to ditch it uh, or use it for photography and get my hands on like a, an LED strip. So I found one for like 75 bucks. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to like first little bit of money I make from streaming. I'm going to use that to buy that. Anybody without Tiger's Claws? There's a couple in this box here. Farewell. I was whole screaming to go two 30Ks in 30 minutes. It wasn't good. Dude, 30Ks have been bad for the past couple weeks. That's that's not just you. They've been really bad. What's your camera? I don't know. It's nothing fancy. It's I I got some Amazon top rated camera. Slapped it on my PC. Are you asking because it's not good enough or because it is good? Because I, 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 I don't know. I think your picture quality is pretty good. It's it, it, it literally it's like a fifty dollar webcam. Like it was nothing crazy. Uh, the problem is the light. Timer. I, Thank you. I got I got that ring light and it's been like like even on the dimmest setting on the incandescent light, it's blinding to me and I just I don't want to use it anymore. But a nice LED strip on the wall would be would be much better, I think. Of course. Moving downstairs to see you guys both up. Beautifully done. You've got good lighting in there. So I have good lighting because I'm on the west coast and it's still light out. As soon as the light goes down, um, it's too dark in here. And so I, like I said, I bought this ring light and it's just too bright. Like not only is it too bright for me on this end, but even on the dimmest setting, it like lights me up like a beacon. Like my whole face just turns white. And so, what's that? Nothing. Oh my god. Definitely didn't say anything about you being pale and pasty. Oh my god. I thought so, he said tasty. Tasty. I heard, I heard not, tasty too. Nope, nope, so, I would never use that word. Sure, sure. <laughs> so yeah, so I think I'm just going to try and get rid of those cheap like purple and blue LED strips. But like right now, it, it looks it looks like good lighting because... Here, watch this. Like it's still light out. So it's giving me good natural light right now. It's actually great when it's just like this stage of the day because it's not too bright, it's not too sunny, it lights you up nice. But I'm, I'm gonna just—I'm not gonna try and return this ring light I've had it for a couple weeks. But I'm—I'm I'm gonna just take it off my computer and just attach it to my camera using photography, because it's—it's too much. I would turn it on right now, but literally it was giving me like, Doors. like blood red eyes because it was burning my eyes while I was trying to stream. It was probably because it was so cheap. Got nothing down here. You're, it looks like you're covering that door panzer I'm going up. Okay, we're getting some desync here. I can't tell where everybody actually is. Whoa, almost shot you there, Tack. I'm guessing the stream saw that, but like I was shooting those guys and you were suddenly in front of me. That was brutal. One left somewhere downstairs. He's inside the elevator. Okay, back off. The last bunker I was in, I got a tier one from that because he like was shooting me through the wall. Let him emerge. Got him. There we go. Beautiful. His arm was sticking out. Dang, I wonder if he's grenades. I don't think I'm actually carrying any today. No. Usually I am. No, I'm not. What is it with you guys and grenades? I always like, have grenades on me. 
for I that know. situation. That one reason is why I have grenades. I hope that when they finish the the structure of this game and the physicalization Whoa. of everything, what? Thanks. What happened? Just, just ran me through the barrier. The desync's bad. The desync's really bad. Fortunately, okay. much of a drop. Um, yeah, I hope that the future, the physicalization of things in this game, gets to the level of some single player games. I understand why it's different, but in Starfield, for instance. If you took a grenade and you were in a, a pirate ship, let's say you boarded a pirate ship and you were clearing the ship in a boarding action. If there, if the gravity was off, you could take a grenade and throw it down a hallway and because there was no gravity, it would projectile float down the hallway and explode. It was so satisfying. If there's like 30 guys into the hallway and they got you pinned, you just roll the grenade through space. Timer. Copy. I'm at mid elevator in case I'm desyncing. Bottom floor, left elevator, and end of hall. Server room. Copy. No, nothing over Doors. here. Doors. Nothing back here. Ah, double reload. Got a guy in an elevator again. Unless you can okay. see him and I can't. Could be grenades. The door closed on him, but he was still shooting me. Oh, you're gonna hit that guard, dude! Careful, Dak. You you downed that guy behind you. He might shoot you. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go right by the elevator. Yeah, yeah, that guy's tracking you now. Wait by the elevator. There's probably two I more to kill, didn't... and then a glitched lieutenant somewhere. They don't like grenades, I guess. Well, he, he was closer than you thought. It was desync. There's one left somewhere, and then the LT. So, for the guys who are watching the stream, if I choose to not put this ring light on tonight, is there enough light from the screen that I'm clear, or is this gonna get kind of rough and I should end it? Cause like I really don't want to turn that thing on, and I just don't want to get so dark that people are going like, "Well, we can't see you now." I'm not always going to be in a brightly lit room, so lighting works. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll I'll figure. Like I said, I'll figure something. Out. I'll probably get an LED strip for the bottom of my PC that's just like a dim, colorful lighting or something. There, I'll, I'll track one down. But the the ring light I got is brutal. There must be two LTs in this one. Oh. Did you find somebody? I heard shots firing. There's one more active somewhere besides the LT because I heard. Oh, there he is. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Wrong time to reload. Um. Okay, the last one's gonna be the LT. Keep forgetting how fast you burn through ammo on C54. Yeah, P4 now too, so I put it on single fire. They've changed a lot of ammo and weapon damages and stuff in the next patch too. Shotgun. Yeah, shotguns are gonna have a reason to use them for sure. Last man on. Tack, can you put that grenade away? You're making me real uncomfortable. What grenade? The one in your hand. <laughs> I'm not holding a grenade. You are. You are. That's just a visual bug. I can't tell if he's trolling us as a threat or if he actually can't see it. <laughs> Hold R. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. He's trolling. Where is my? Is this my? Why is, am I missing a wing on my ship? I wasn't like that when I came in. Be all like Allah Akbar. Hey, there's also a uh, ballistic Gatling over here. Is what, that yours? What size? It looks like a size two. No. Scorpion. GT two fifteen. I can't wait till selling those has value. That's gonna be a great part of the game. Pulling those off ships. Or finding them and storing them in your own personal hangar because you'll put them in that, that elevator and for the first time ever actually store that stuff. Like, rhinos are going to be incredibly expensive. So go pull them off of a hammerhead salvage wreck, put them in the reclaimer, bring them back to port, store them, and then put them on whatever ship you want for free. Mm -hmm. You just pay to repair them. 
All right, missions. What do we got? Our court's being stingy with the missions tonight. We could relocate. We could do like um, Oris and rooftops and stuff. I haven't done that in a minute. I wonder if I have enough fuel to get there in this ship. I might have to change ships. Why don't, why don't you guys head towards Oris? That'd be a fun thing to do. Especially if guys in the stream haven't seen it yet. You know, I gotta fix my notifications because my phone is telling me people are, are like following on Twitch, which is awesome, and um, my my actual stream on OBS is not notifying me, which is not good. Okay, see when I'm in space, it gets kind of dark on the video. I think it's enough. Like it's not like you guys need to sit and stare at my face or something, but like I definitely need to get an LED light if my ring light's gonna be too bright. It's like I turned this thing on. I should show you guys for a second. I turn it on. It's it's brutally bright. How is that mission not completed yet? I still haven't left the area. Oh, copy that. Oh yeah, I got enough to get a Crusader. Alright, sweet. I'll meet you guys over there. You guys have faster drives than I do. I don't know how much longer I want to be on, honestly. That's fair. I've got, a, I've, I've got to work tomorrow. Do you? Yeah, it's shred event season, so we got to go sit in a parking lot for three freaking hours. I it is do not need to work. not as much fun as you think it is. But I do have to do all of my errands and stuff for the week and all that stuff. So, there, contract complete. Yeah, it's another like seven hours overtime for me. So what the hell? Overtime's good. Yeah, except for the taxes I take out of it. But overtime does let you buy cool toys. Like ships and Invictus. I was actually thinking something real that I can use in real life, like a new set of joysticks. Sweet. I kind of want a new gaming chair. Better hotels. LED light than gaming chair. You should do nano leaves. What's that? Uh, they're like LED panels you can interconnect to make weird geometric shapes. Okay, cool. Do like do like really cool lightning effects and stuff. I'm just trying to find like a simple LED light strip that I can just kind of put on the edge of my PC or something, but like I'm not. 100 foot LED strip light. Probably what I'm looking for, right? Bluetooth controlled on LED strip light. Be careful on those because you're going to want to actually spend a bit more money. Really? Yeah, and the cheaper ones will have them and they'll work, but the, the LEDs are actually spaced farther apart. Oh, uh, okay. So you get like that string light or tube light effect. I just know that the that the ring light I got is just way too bright, and so I need yeah, something where, that lets me dim it further. The more expensive LEDs are going to be tighter together, so you're going to get that more of a, a constant lighting effect. Okay, all right. And also, the more expensive ones tend to run cooler, also. Okay. Which, if you're going to be like doing like a subdued lighting or kind of thing effect putting them behind a you know what I mean uh, indirect lighting yeah that becomes an issue see my reason for getting a cheaper ring light was I thought that it would be shittier light and dimmer so I got this ring light that was like 25 bucks and <laughs> instead, you, instead you got one that simulates a no -fold. oh check check this out I'm gonna turn this thing on for a second dear god that's the brightest setting oh dear Christ. But this is the dimmest setting it has. Dude, that thing is brought out to make an, even an Irishman like you get a tan. <laughs> if I stream for like three hours, I'm, I'm shitting. You know how I told you guys that I was having like this weird like red marks on my cheeks and stuff that I was like, why is this happening? It started mm -hmm. when I started using this ring light. I think it's so bright that it's like, yeah, like your sun burning, not, not burning, but like irritating my skin because LED light can do that. Yeah, Um. but that's 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 a <laughs> I'm going to use that for photography because it's got a, a plug in that I can use on my camera and I needed a new ring light oh, for photography. Be perfect, then. Yeah. But like for streaming, no, I need something that's just like, you know, I, I want to get one of those little LED lights, but they're hard to find the right one. Someone said look up life. Life light? I'm not seeing anything you're talking about. Life light. 
I mean, are you just looking for something for like indirect lighting just to give you more? I want a minimal little strip. Honestly, I'm picturing something that'll stick to the bottom of my monitor or something or underneath it or something. Just like. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're not looking for like room effect or anything? No, I just, just like a little bit of light when you're streaming that's not going to look bad. Maybe some color to it. Um, I look at LED streaming lights, but everything I find is like massive lights. I just want something like a little, a little thing. That's all. So you, you need a, like a small precision LED work light area. I guess. There's got to be something that like, you know, other streamers use. It's just some kind of like little thing. That's oh, what she said. I hope not. <laughs> Um, we get into Orson. Uh, well, we'll take a mission and see where it leads to around here. Yeah, I'm just not seeing anything that looks besides this one that I got that is like the light of a second sun. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything. I'll find something. It's just I don't like have anything over here. Jesus. Might be on an hour if you guys are still going. I might come back falling. I'll probably go a bit longer with these guys. And then when when we end the stream, I will probably go eat and stuff. I was just going to do like a six hour stream or something, but I, I do have to eat some point soon. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably end it, you know, when we finish some missions, go have some food, and then I'll probably just come back in game and and just just chill with you guys. Anybody who wants to hang out with us, you know, off stream, just feel free to jump in our discord and, and hang out. Tom link just went down. Well, um, a crusader. Good to know. FYI. FYI. I got an HRT bounty. That was hard to find. Like what I'm picturing here. It's just not like I, I thought there'd be some kind of like little. Maybe I'm not looking. Maybe I'm looking for desk lamp. But like neon or I don't know. I don't know how to word what I'm looking for here. I could get a pink heart light. Got one. Sharing. What is it? Rooftop? It. Yep, repel. Oh, it's repel. We're doing repel. Repel raid, not repel the site. <laughs> oh come on. I could get a That's giant like neon fun. pineapple for my wall. Fuck yes. That would honestly probably be a good light, like a like a warm yellow and green. A popsicle, I get a giant popsicle from my wall. But that's more what I'm looking for is like some kind of like minimal dim, not white, not blue light up for somewhere. Because the ring light I got feels like it, it said it was for streaming, but dear God, like if you set it across your room, maybe. Yeah, but where where my PC is is against a wall, so like right. it's as far back as it can go. Um, but I'm not exaggerating that it was actually like like hurting my eyes and like I would get off after and my skin would feel tight and I was just like God, that was a bright light. There, Orison is my oh, dear God. Orison's right, <laughs> brighter than the lamp. In Crusader. Okay, Tech, you're going to Rec B? Yeah. Okay, I'll go to Rest A. If we need backup, we'll be nearby each other. We need to track that mission. That's a good one. Tracking the mission is always a good one. I thought I was. I mean, it does uh, help. Who's going, who's going to A? Who's going to B? I'm going to A. Tech's going to B. Where do you guys want me? Uh, go with Tack. There's no way to win that question if there's three people. If you say come with me, then Tack's like, why not me? If you say go with Tack, then it's like, why not with you? Just, just go with Tack. Or I can just stay in high cover and go wherever you need to back up. I can't wait till these missions pay more and there are more places and stuff where ships like the Carrick matter. Where it's like, leave the Carrick in orbit, send people down to Pisces, have a backup crew waiting on the Carrick in a secondary vessel. Like, we already do that for the Data Heist missions when those are working. They, they're they not showing up this patch. But like... I mean, Panther, you can, can like, check wherever out you want 
Like, there's a lot of good places to find stuff. Rin! I'll grab team out of treat momentarily, buddy. I'm just trying to land my ship. Where are you landing? I'm gonna ship? make your cap, uh, B. Finally, we're, we're at on, on top. Falling. I can't do push-ups when I'm flying my ship, buddy. Can, can you can you wait for? Oh, what do I got? Ninety seconds here. Dang. It's so bright I can't read what that says, Brim. What'd you do? Something three hundred. Why can't I read that? Oh, because the orison is so bright in the background, I can't actually see what, what it says on the stream. I landed the next pad over. Oh, the marker's gone. Which building was it? Uh-oh. Building marker's gone. Um. Okay, well, which building has enemies on it, I guess? I don't see any here. I hate when this happens, when mission markers vanish. This isn't just a Star Citizen thing. This happens in, like, any game, really, where, like, mission markers just kind of bug out. But there, it's this one. I got one right in front of me, but I'll get him. If you're not going to let me get on a ship, I'm going to use my ship to kill you. So that's what's happening now. There's something so satisfying about that. It's figuring out where that bottom gun's gonna hit them, because it's not actually on the reticle. You're gonna get up again, aren't you? Explain to me how a size 3 energy weapon doesn't kill somebody instantly, please. Alright, fuck it, I'm landed. Falling. Here's your goddamn push on this, buddy. World's largest taser. Yeah. Oh, there's more. They're, they're still alive. The problem is when I fight her, I can't just like get out of my ship or they're going to start shooting at me. So I actually kind of have to do it in the ship to be able to get out. I want to get down there, attack, but I won't kill before I do. I think the last one's Lieutenant. Sometimes those ones do spawn here. Nope, not a lieutenant. We're done here. Older, how you doing over there? Good. I cleared up most of the upper part with the ship because I couldn't get out of the fighter without doing it. Now I'm moving into the building. Cool. How's your shoulder feeling right now? Shoulder's fine. Push-ups are fine. Okay. Pushing's fine. It's pulling that makes my shoulder act out. Uh, I understand. Oh, bad time to reload. Oh, I didn't reload. I'm on single fire. So much I'm paying attention. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's always satisfying. Shotgun blast, knocking them on their ass. Mm -hmm. Heading downstairs. Y'all tried the 97 yet? What's that? Have y'all tried the new, like, did the shotgun stuff go into effect yet? No, that's no. 323. Okay. It feels like they're testing some stuff, though. Sometimes. Really? That was a shotgun to the face. He didn't go down. That's what she said. And my med pen is not refilling my health. It's been buggy for weeks. And my med gun's not working. I got a med bit on my location. It's just annoying little bugs. Little lags, that sort of thing. Ah, uh, Orson. Oh, they're react- I'm down. He reacted instantly. I'm on my way. I'm in the elevator, so I'm fine if you want to come grab me. I took one shot at the heavy and he just instantly swiveled and shot me. The reaction speed was fantastic. What's the server at? Uh, oh, server FPS is like 12, that's why. I'm telling you, these guys are- they're on it when they're on it. Yeah, when- when they're on- when the server is reacting well, they're good. But I wasn't expecting that. Single shot in the P4 and he just like swiveled and just one shot me. Seven thousand. So what's everyone else doing? Got a bunch of guys on Twitch and, and YouTube watching us live right now. I think I saw Bryn come in. Bryn, are, are, if, you, if you're still in here, are, did you pop in before you go live? Are you popping in live for the evening or are you doing something else? Tells me to send people when I'm done. I'm just going to check. Let's, let's, let's check on here. Screen manager, raid. Let's see him on. Yeah, we'll figure it out after. I heard that ship coming in to rescue me. That's awesome. It's things like that in this game, man. Like for anybody who doesn't play it, like, yeah, there's bugs. It's alpha. It has issues. It has a long development cycle. X, all these things, whatever. The fact that I'm on an alien planet right now and physically heard my buddy's ship coming in for a landing to come land, get out of a ship and come pick me up. What else has that? Really? I'm working on a film right now, just taking a break. Well, thanks for hopping in, man. Just weekend streams, back full time. You know, I don't stream as consistently as you. You're you're a lot more pro than I am. But uh, basically any cool events that are going on in this particular game or No Man's Sky or anything else that I play, I'm just trying like maybe three times a week. But I did figure out Restream. So I'm now pushing from Twitch to YouTube. So my YouTube channel is growing decently and that's like where I'm, I'm pushing some of these out. You're going to show me how to do a co-stream, and then when you dive into um, Star Citizen, we could do a co-stream on yours and mine for like a night, which is like a four hour, like, welcome to Star Citizen from zero to hero kind of thing. I would like to multi-stream. Yeah, if you know how, otherwise we'll figure it out together. I don't know how, but uh, when I started playing Star Citizen, I'd been playing Elite for years. And so, I don't know if you guys know the streamer uh, Space Tomato, he's phenomenal. But he knew my stuff from Elite, and so I was actually on his stream as a guest, um, as like a, you know, somebody from Elite coming to Star Citizen. It was like a newbie, kind of like, we can see if it's the same. Last guys are on the ground floor. Um, so that was kind of cool. So I'd love to be able to like have guests on mine too, once I'm big enough that guests matter. The gun's acting up.
And we are clear. Thanks for the revive. Anybody need FS9 ammo? There's some of this box here. It's P4. Installed Star is a basically never played before. Hope you installed it with my code. Oh, yeah, anybody watching? I have a referral code. Everyone has a referral code in Star Citizen, but you're watching my stream. If you don't have the game, there's a thing going on right now. So referral codes in the game are exactly what they sound like. You use my code, we both get rewards. Cool, right? But the one right now, during special events, they will give you extra. So right now, if you use my code, you get credits. We both get a free ship. It's just a little ship. It's nothing fancy. It's called a Merlin. But if you use mine to sign up for the game right now, we both get a Merlin, which is, you know, something to keep in mind. The game 15 years ago, I got this card. It's been around for 15 years. Um, I have a tier 3 arm. Did you say there's a med bed on the other platform? Actually, that's too far away. It's just a tier 3 arm. Screw it. Get it from the next one. What's that? Oh, we're not going to be on that long anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, we say not that long. We've already been on for like three and a half hours doing that. Actually, and you and I were on for almost an hour before I started streaming. <laughs> Waiting for the mission to pop up. What do we got over here? Prepare multiple raids for 100k, but that might get bugged out by the um, backpack guys not spawning. It's worth a try, sharing. Can't say no to 100 grand. Stuff like this. I mean, deal with the bugs, sure, but like, look at this. Leaving a gas giant, all physicalized, the platforms are actually there behind us. Flying up at an atmosphere. I mean, I know No Man's Sky does this too, but when you jump in No Man's Sky, it's technically a loading screen. There are none in this. to the clouds that was kind of cool yeah i have mine on low right now but because the game's not running very well but when you have the clouds on high it looks really impressive also when they add in vulcan and they kind of adjust how things are affecting your cpu i'll probably run things a bit higher because i have a great video card my cpu is getting a little bit older so i just kind of adjust it my understanding of vulcan though is it makes it a little bit less cpu dependent These clouds would look a lot cooler if we were on high right now, but it would also be lighting my computer on fire. Oh. Gonna have to eat something soon. The temptation when you're streaming to just order a pizza is so strong. Org wise, guys, I'm really looking forward to 323 coming out because it's going to bring back a lot of the guys who aren't playing right now. Like, before you joined Panzer, Damos jumped in to basically be like, I'll see you guys in 323. Um, it's all May like, I miss y'all. Yeah. May Mayflower <laughs> doesn't play much right now because. He's so he's just he's just waiting for 323. Uh, basically, some of our more active guys, basically, forget the 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 casual guys or the recruits or whatever, but some of our most active, long-standing members, they're just kind of 322 has been so buggy and 323 is changing so much. They're just kind of like, I'll just wait, Let's wait till it's out, which is fair. That's their prerogative to do that. But I'm looking forward to it coming out because I think it's going to bring a lot of guys back. 
I really hope personal hangers make it back in, because right now they're not in the current feature list. I don't know if that means they've been removed, or if it just means they're not ready for testing. I'm really hoping the instance hangers make it in. They're not like a huge game changer, but they're like a really cool quality of life thing. Own personal hanger. You can like decorate and stay in and put stuff around. But it's new technology. Instance personal hangers is a big deal. It's hard to do. The lighting is so weird over here right now. I hope 323 fixes some of the mission bugs like bunkers. Me too, man. But I mean, that's been a bug since 321. 321.123, 3.22, 3.22.1, and the bunkers are still bugged out with the, the captains not spawning. So I hope so too, but it's been a while that's been an issue. Zach, did you also lose the marker over here? Uh, where'd you go? I was going to see. I, I was following you. I'm on it. I think I can see words out. Is there only two? I thought that this mission was usually three. Oh, the other two are behind us. Yeah, I'm going to the same one you are. I figured if Panzer is like AFK or whatever, we should stick together. It's one of these buildings. Right, but is the marker gone for you for which building? Yeah. Yeah, it's been happening too. I'm back, but I'm getting ready to log out. So. Uh, just look for the roof that has the guys on it, right? So. Oh, I just got the marker back. Panzer, you're done? Yeah, I got to. Real life again. That's fair. Thanks for hanging out with us. Not fair. Game. Hopefully yeah, the next you're thing, this voice. <laughs> hopefully the next thing you log in, the uh, mission has been patched or hot fixed and you're able to more easily do phase five so that you can complete it. I don't want it to be bugged for everyone that no one gets it done. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I got a week at least. Where is that light coming from? The light's glitched over here. There's nothing lighting it up that much. What the heck? Sometimes, sometimes when you go to third person, it gives you kind of a moment. No, I'm in first and third. Yeah. This is like... What is this? Oh, wow. That's a major visual bug. For everyone watching, that light's coming from nowhere. It's just a glitched city. So this is this is what can happen in Star Citizen. Tack, where'd you land? Uh, I squeezed down at the bottom. Can't see you. I'm trying to land near you. We'll just we'll take it together, because the roof's swarming. Am I even down? Yeah. No, oh, it's a little ship. That's handy. I'll put the siege bodies all over the place here. You can hit upper floor first, then roof. Covering left. Which is a wall. Got anything right? Just two. Which means the roof's gonna be an absolute shit show. Bearing mag. Leroy Jenkins? On the right. What is with the med pens lately? Okay, 
guys. Have a good night. Can't melee. Melee's not working. Crutching. I'm down. Careful. Uh oh. Okay, I'm taking fire through a wall here. I can't be careful. I'm down. Through a barrier. Depends or log? Uh, he logged. Oh, what is going on with the servers tonight? Alright. Guess I'll make my way back. Ah. Uh, the guys that are watching, that was like, I'm behind cover here, and that guy over there shot me through cover. Which can happen in a game like this. But is frustrating nonetheless. Because now I'm on a stream, and I'm sitting here. Waiting for revive. But also, now a medical beacon's not going to work because nobody can land here. God, citizen strikes again. <laughs> uh, it was, okay. It was just a, it was just a phasing vote. Basically, it's desync. Like probably on the game's end, he was like on this side of the wall from me. Like he like. It likely wasn't him actually shooting through the barrier. It was likely he wasn't where my perception saw him to be. So when you get shot from a guy inside an elevator a lot of the time, it's actually that on the game's end, he's not in the elevator. He's out of the elevator and you're desynced. And that's what I think happened there. But where are you where are you spawning, Tack? Oh god. It might not be worth it. I might just backspace out of here. Like, what am I wearing? I like this Arden, but I've got five or six of them. P4, a fighter I can claim. You know what? Screw it. I'll just backspace. Like, do you care about the gear, Yvonne? Uh, yeah, but I still have the mission. I'll just go back. Oh, if you're coming back anyway, then I'll wait. How long is it gonna take you to get back? Do you think ten minutes? Uh, not long. What I got you? the eye on here. Got the eye on there. Oh, so like five minutes. Okay, we'll wait. Um, so right now in Star Citizen, for people who are watching, uh, if you get downed you can call for backup somebody to come revive you uh you could just log out log in you'll be in a hospital you'll have lost your stuff or you can backspace which is committing suicide you'll wake up and wherever your spawn point is and then you can fly back for your stuff if you want to in the future of the game that won't be a thing they've been very clear that logging out logging in will put you right back where you were because of persistence that won't be an escape hatch anymore and backspacing they're bringing in something called death of a spaceman which is basically consequences to death so they're going to add a skill tree in the future. They showed it at CitizenCon. If you missed it, go watch the CitizenCon videos. Let's say you've increased your engineering and combat skill to a good level. Dying would cause you to lose some or all of that. That's work in progress. It's not actually like that yet. So there'd be real reasons for medical play because backspacing would cause you to lose something you cannot get back. So I could just backspace right now, which will put me back up by genie point and just keep flying. Um, but Tack is coming back for his gear anyway, because he also got down by these glitchy NPCs. So I'm just going to stay here and talk to you guys while we wait for him. And then we're going to get up and kill everything on this roof, which is, I can't see how many, there we go. There's only eight left. We'll be fine. Um, for the guys watching, bear with me for about 90 seconds here. I'm just going to the restroom, get some water uh, while we're waiting for Tack here, and then we'll we'll keep going. I'll be right back. Yeah, tell them a story about your, your wonderful endeavors in Star Citizen. <laughs> so we have to drink sometimes, but they never have to use the restroom. I don't get it. Yeah, you don't want me telling stories.
<laughs> I heard the start of your story there, Tack. It was riveting. I mean, way to put a guy on the spot there, Boulder. A couple more guys tuning in on YouTube. Thank you. A bunch of guys on Twitch. I got down. Tax coming to get me. I'm just hanging out while we wait. Um, About 24 out. What Tax said is correct, though. You do have to eat and drink in the game. Bathroom's not a thing yet. But that's why a lot of ships have bathrooms, because it will be a thing. But I think they're just trying to figure out how to balance it. Like, This is a motto that a lot of developers say in Star Citizen. They take it to the point of realism. Then they take it a few steps back to fun. And so a lot of the things that you find that they create that are tedious will be balanced. It's a video game. Right now, I think you have to drink water too often, personally. If in real life, I could conceivably go all day without drinking water, I wouldn't love it, but I could. Why in the video game do I need water every 15, 18 minutes or I'm going to die? That's an exaggeration. But like, it's... They need to balance that. So then using the bathroom, will that be mandatory? Or will that be just a thing? Like showers. They said showers won't be mandatory, but eventually... If you haven't showered in like weeks on your ship, you might not be allowed into some establishments. Stores might charge you a premium. Ports might not let you land because you stink. That's really going to be a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get up out of bed, shake the lizard, take a shower, get dressed continue on your journey like I, that's another thing too like let's say you're sharing the you know the the ship and everything and you'll have like a long like what's going to be the longest journey in this game you know how long is it going to take let's say we find a really impressive uh route that pays a lot of money and cargo runs but it takes a long time like that that feels more like an elite thing but That'd be cool in this game. That's definitely going to be a thing. Um, they've been very clear citizen con videos that build up of grime, that sort of thing, will make a difference. Um, long routes will 100% be a thing. Jumping between multiple star systems. And that's where they might be going a little too far. I love the realism in this game, but the average person. They're not realizing how this game is going to change as it progresses. So let's say you're on a big ship, a Carrick. When engineering is fully in, you're probably not going to fly that solo. Realistically. The amount of time between missions, if you're flying a Carrick in, finding a landing zone, landing, getting out of your pilot seat, you can't wear heavy armor in a backpack in the future in your pilot seat, going to the armory, switching your gear, putting on your armor, grabbing your gun, grabbing your ammo, going to the elevator, exiting the ship, doing the whole mission, and then doing it all over again, it'd be tedious for 50, 60 grand or whatever. So grinding missions like that, you'll likely be in a smaller ship, not wearing armor, and just hoping for the best. The guys who are going to wear all the stuff are probably be part of a crew, where you're going to like wait in the drop seats in your gear, and the pilot's going to stay on the bridge. It is a video game. You can play this game however you want to play this game. But we'll be playing it a lot differently if we want to be efficient in the future. Bathrooms, food and water, armories, uh, you know, capital ships. Like people who bought, like, say, a Polaris, who are a single play kind of guy. You're not landing a Polaris to do bunkers. You're flying an entire org somewhere and sending them down in a shuttlecraft. I don't even think that's just my opinion. I think that's just like what they've said. Like it's going to be very. There won't be anything like this game. It won't. Elite was a space arcade game. Sure, it had engineering and stuff, but it was mostly ship combat, missions, and ship combat. Nothing was slow and tedious besides learning to engineer your ships because you were your ship. You land, you fuel, you leave. You die, you pay, you get your ship back, you leave. In this game, you have to travel around and do everything physically. It is much more of like a real world kind of game what's your eta tech eta your mic's i just now. uh can you hear me now yep 
20 out from you, 17, something like that. Beautiful. I'm going to try to be careful so I don't blow you off the building. Yeah, I mean, I would land on the ground <laughs> and travel up. This is certainly going to get intensive, this game. I'm all for it, but it's going to be interesting. So Tax coming in for a rescue. I'll see his lights pretty soon coming in over the horizon here. So what's everyone excited for for Invictus? What sort of... Is there something you want to buy? Is there something you just want to see and try? Is there something being released that you're interested about? I'm kind of curious. Big ships flying around mostly. If you've never done the Javelin tour, uh, that'll be a cool one. Um, or is it the Bengal? I forget what they had last year. But yeah, for sure. There's some speculation that the that the Polaris might come out. I don't think it's going to yet. Zeus, I don't think it's going to be an Invictus thing, Mark. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's probably going to be a Citizen Con thing. Spirit was was concept released at Citizen Con two years ago and came out last year. It was a one year cycle. It was pretty quick. Zeus is a similar size. I'm going to guess the Zeus will be Citizen Con, not Invictus. There's a chance that you get the bounty hunting variant at Invictus. Maybe. But I I would say it's more likely Citizen Con. Right. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, I have a Polaris coming for our org. Um, I'm... There's a 10% chance the Polaris makes it to Invictus. Because it's a military ship, it's a capital ship, like, I, obviously they're pushing for it, it's moving through the, 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 the phases really quickly. There's a small chance the Polaris is the flagship of Invictus, because it would make sense for Invictus. But I think more likely, it'll be the Zeus at CitizenCon, and the Polaris will be the feature of IAE this year, is my guess. CL coming first? Yeah, CL coming first would make those sense, but the CL will not come in Invictus. The Invictus is only military ships. So, by that logic, if the CL came first, it would it would come at Citizen Con. That's what I put my, my money on. If I ever actually know something, if I read something, if there's like an official post, I'll say this is all just speculation. But just like from years of experience, I just the ships don't get finished that quickly. But it would be cool be very cool i don't have any personal interest in the zeus but i know a couple guys in my org have one or the other of of them so i'll definitely be a passenger in them i'll try them i think they're i think they seem very cool but i have my fleet i prefer to earn things in game it gives me something to do so if i ever buy anything i swap something so my hornet will likely become that new mirai heavy fighter if if and when it comes out because it'll have an interior and i like ships with an interior thank you very much um and then after that I'm I'm basically done. I have more than enough stuff in the game. I earn everything else when I'm playing. Okay, I am severely injured. Hopefully the next one has the gym on it. Oh come on. You're not empty. Why aren't you working? Oh, this game sometimes. There we go. Tier 2 arm, tier 3 chest. Zeus is out of white box. Hornet Mark 2. Zeus, uh, yeah, the Zeus is. It, it's on It's on final polish. Uh, um, I'm just saying that it, it's only one of them is a combat ship. So if anything comes at Invictus and the Zeus, it'll be the um, it'll be the bounty hunting variant. It won't be the others. 
I would put my money on them coming at that um, citizen con. Because if it is, the Zeus is out of gray box and in final polish, they said. The Polaris, the last we heard, was almost done gray box. Um, so either of them could make it. I think the Zeus is more likely. It's just not a military ship. I think it'll be the Mirai fighter, the Zeus, uh, sorry, the, the, the one I'm getting into, the Hornet. Uh, F7A Mark II. We know that's coming as the upgrade just before Invictus. They'll probably wait till Invictus to give it to us. Uh, probably be a ground vehicle or something will also come out. That'll be Invictus. And then IAE, or sorry, Citizen Com will probably be Zeus, the lineup, at least two of them. And then IAE will... I, I put my money on my Polaris being ready for IAE. Alright. Severe injuries. Where's our next location? to it now why do i not oh there's the marker Duh. my logic is sound my logic is usually sound not always usually is there two platforms left or one these missions usually have three it, it, there's two when you uh zoom in on it it's got two locations gotcha That's always a cool shot. The light flare of the thruster going off. Wish we could jump to this next one because it's still 40 kilometers away and this fighter is slower in atmo than i'd like it to be one of the coolest things in invictus is is how if you are someone who buys most of your ships in game it gives you a chance to rent stuff that you can't afford yet in game so especially if 323 is a wipe like being able to rent a redeemer for the day any of the vanguards it's also for an org. It's a great recruiting opportunity. Oh, I'm, just... I'm, getting, I'm getting three locations. Three more. All right, here we go. Let's find that gym first. One of them's gonna have the red gym on it. Um, yeah, it's a great chance for us to get guys for an org because we can kind of go out, meet new people, help them with the rescue what beacons the... or whatever, and then recruit them. What's going on, Tech? Uh, make that four. But no way. Maybe they're doubled up. Look at the names on them. I got two Fs, okay. three Fs, one D. Yeah, that's that's only two more. It's just it's just du duplicating the uh, the names. Okay. It does that sometimes when it splits like the multiple points in the building. So F probably has a roof, a middle, and a ground. I don't usually do Orison, so. Fair enough. Send it for your org a few minutes ago. Cool, man. So for people that like to join our org, so anybody can join our Discord. So just join our Discord. And then in the Discord, go to the Star Citizen areas. It says it all on the org page, but just like anybody is welcome to come join our org and hang our Discord and hang out. Totally cool. For the org, every org has rules. And so we like to just chat with people in Flatham but to make sure that the rules work for them to actually join the org. So application, super cool, awesome man. Uh jump on our Discord. And then at some point we'll fly together, jump in voice comms, make sure you, you like the, the group, and then we'll accept the org application on the website. We were like that in Elite too. So like you'd get like 100 applications a week and you might accept two people. Um, some groups accept everybody, so they have thousands of members. Like you've probably seen some of the big groups that have like 10,000 members. Uh, we just like to make sure people are like a good fit for us to actually be in our, our org proper. Basically it's maturity, we don't have griefers. We don't have player pirates. No problem with pirating NPCs. We don't pirate players. We don't grief. We don't troll. Stay relatively mature. 
we basically do the uh we do like the firefly thing like we'll do crime we'll smuggle we'll steal we'll do illegal missions but we try to be the good guys in elite we were a hundred percent never joined a group in elite yeah we we in elite we were a hundred percent the good guys like white knight anti-griever pvp combat it's all we did in this game there's just so much more to the game that we do everything we just essentially we're non-malicious and non-toxic um the closest example i always give people is is firefly because we th those guys broke the law all the time but if someone was like you know go rob this train all right i'll rob the train by the way it's medicine for a children's hospital no go fuck yourself i'm not doing that all right these guys i'm not getting out of my ship right now <laughs> i'm taking them out from the ship I wish energy weapons would kill people on the ground more efficiently. Is he gonna get up again? There. What's up? I'm down. You're down again? Yep. Which Same one Same thing, you getting shot through a barrier. Oh, you're right here. Alright. Where are you? There, you're down over there. I'm gonna try and stay clear of you. I never watched Firefly. Oh, you gotta watch it, man. It's only one season. It was uh, it was canceled after one season due to a number of things. Really solid show, really good sci-fi. I'd say if you play Star Citizen, just if you enjoy this game, not just like shooting stuff, but like the lore of a space game, you will 100% enjoy Firefly. You'll enjoy The Expanse. If you liked Star Wars, <laughs> you're going to like those things. I'm getting really irritated by them not dying from me hitting them with these energy guns. These guys are intense tonight. They're doing damage on my ship and I can't hit them. I'm telling you. Look at this. My fighter is taking damage from the ground troops. These are not the guys we've been fighting. Well, there's only two of us left on right now. More of a techie. I'm going to guess that means trekkie. Uh, if you love the Expanse, you'll definitely fire for You know, Expanse is a good example, too. The way our crew is. You think about the crew of the Rossi. They literally were doing piracy and smuggling for the belt at one point. But Holden would never have boarded a ship and just murdered everyone on board. He was the guy who would hail them and be like, look, you know who we are. We know who you are. Just let us have our stuff and let us go about our way. We don't want to hurt anybody. Where is he? There he is. Facts. Absolutely facts. Okay, I think... I think I'm safe to approach you now. Nope. I still got one at the bar area pushing towards the restaurant window. He's like on the right side of the restaurant. Where that... Like under the tree. The convergence on the guns on this thing makes it really hard to hit ground troops. Because it's a bottom gun. Okay, I don't. Oh, I see him. He's down. Good call out. Yeah, I heard him scream. That well scream. Yeah, man. The, the, the greatest compliment we ever got in this game that I've had so far was um, a bunch of us were doing. A mission called Jump Town one night, and there was a lot of hostiles. There were in a big ship called the Corvette, which is actually uh, sorry called the Hammerhead, which is a Corvette, which is the closest thing we have in the game right now to the Rossi. And we were holding it down, and a guy in our group Panzer went in global chat, and somebody was like, "Is Jump Town safe?" And he's like, "Jump Town's never safe, but anybody hostile is gonna have to deal with us." Sort of thing he typed, and immediately someone was just like, "This sounds like freaking Holden over here." We were so flattered. I heard shots. Where is this I got guy? another one at the restaurant entrance. Yeah, they're inside. They're shooting from the inside. The inside? All right.
No, not me. Him. Thank you. About as much as I can give you. Cool. I'm, I got one. We need to find that medical bed once we get clear of this. All right. Yeah, it's not. Eight left. Let's do this smart because these guys are being super reactive. Thing for medical guns, huh? Crossing. One up by the ships, four downstairs. Reloading. You going for him? I was going to say, let's get him on the way out. I want him near our ships. Fair enough. I'll wait for you by the elevator, because these guys are being super responsive. While I'm waiting, a bunch of these guys said they joined our Discord. Let's see, let's see what's up here. It's weird. It's not sending the uh, notifications when guys join our town hall right now. I'll figure that out later. It's supposed to send like a notification when people join. It hasn't been doing it all day. Some kind of bug. But if you join our Discord, there's uh, channels for everything. You just jump into the Star Citizen area. It's under gaming. And there's like a general Star Citizen chat, for instance. Where most people hang out. One on the right. Okay. He did not take damage. I am severely injured. Same. Reloading. Tier 3 head injury. Okay, we need to find the gym. A hundred percent need to find find the gym. Sure, just... Well, keep in mind, the other one nearby is like on the building next door. So my hope is that um, that, that was the gym that I was landing at. Come on. Med guns are being weird today. It's also not giving me the drugs that I need. This is going to be frustrating play a session for what's what's up. Dang it what? Hold on, I'm to get these guys before I get fallen, uh, fallen. <laughs> What's happening? I got them. There's just, uh, two dudes at the entrance. What? I went straight to the other building. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, I'm drugged up. And still limping. Why am I still limping? Oh, because I'm drugged up. That's why. Uh, my guy is... You guys gotta see this in third person. I had to use a lot of drugs because my guy's so injured. Look how he's walking now. <laughs> my guy's so drugged up. No, it seems like a smart idea when I'm really drug, drugged up in this game. Let's get in a military grade fighter craft and fly around the city. Gotta do a bar scene. <laughs> we all just go to our fighters. Oh my god. Have you seen the um, kind of immersive video for the Avenger Warlock they put out a few years ago of the guy on the joyride through the city? No. I'll do a video of it on my YouTube soon. I've kind of been going through them all, all the narrative videos. 
walk like that normally. I'm concerned for you, buddy. Alright. This is the other building. Tax already in it. Well, doesn't look like there's one here. Um... I was at this one first. There's def oh, you mean the gym? There's not one here. Oh, yeah, definitely not. There's definitely hostels outside where you're coming out right now. It's so hard to fly the ship when you're this drugged up. It's like swerving left and right. Who do I contact for the organ abuse? Um, you know what, man? You can just hop in with anybody who's like... Uh, there's different ranks in there. It's like agent, mod, myself. Okay, I can barely fly this ship right now. Um, oh, they're... they're everywhere. Yep. Um, yeah, at some point, so right now we're in member comms because it's locked for a stream. At some point, you'll see people in live comms. You can just jump in live comms when you see org members in there. They'll be they'll be highlighted as like members of the org. We'll just chat. It's not really an interview, dude. It's just like making sure that that it's a good fit. Like if somebody joins and they're like twelve and they're screaming, it's going to be a no. If they jump in and they're super racist, it's going to be no. If they jump in and all they want to do is grief people, I mean, all the power to you. It's a video game, but it's not. It's going to be a no for our group. You guys see how I'm flying this ship when I'm drunk? Like, you push left and it, sp it spurs right, and it's like... It's kind of immersive that it does this. Six left. You started from the ground floor, right? Yeah, I worked my way up. So where the hell but are But they're all on the... They're, like, all on the sides of oh, this Oh, that's gonna kill me. My guy's so drunk that I just pushed backwards. Look, look how many guys flying. This is nuts. <laughs> Seriously, I pulled back and it went forward because my guy's drunk. I should not be flying my ship this drunk. I think I'm just going to go ahead and land and do this on foot because this is insane. How are we looking out there? Five left? I might only get out if you need me because my guy's he's so messed up right now. Or they're just scattered. This is weird. I, I haven't seen this yet. This is getting like the NPCs are getting intense when the server is actually working. Three left. He's on that other building platform. Oh, boy. I gotta take these stairs to get to it. Let's see if I can get up the ship. My, my guy can just barely fly right now. Oh my god. This is like almost impossible to control. Got him. There's two left. Ground floor. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm trying to do this on my... <laughs> this is so funny. I don't remember them being this long. What being this long? These these multi ones. But I don't I don't know. Well, we're also severely injured, so it's slowing us down. Another one down. The last one's in with you. Got him. Nice. 
So there's one more platform mission here, I think. Nope. Beat the mission. Dear God. Okay, I have to get to a hospital. Same. I, I'll probably like, get a log up to that. Tier 1s and Tier 2s. Can't fly my ship in a straight line. Can't steer my ship. So for the guys watching who don't play very often, the NPCs have had new tech added to them that it comes from Squadron 42. So they started porting over the technology from the, the single player campaign. Um, the thing is, it only works when the server is responsive, when the server FPS is good. So sometimes right now you'll go into a bunker and the system will be like, they won't be responsive at all. They'll just... They'll just look at you and you'll shoot them and it's so easy and everyone complains the missions are too too easy. When the server FPS is high, when the ping rate is good, uh, they're devastating right now. They're absolutely terrifying. Not to mention how hard the lieutenants are in the consignment. Yeah. Can be very, very difficult. No, I don't want to go to Orison. I want to go to Seraphim. Come on, game. Why would I want to go to Orison? Seraphim's right there. One of the big things coming in the next patch is a new map, uh, and it's it's such a big deal. We've needed this for so long. Okay, my guy can barely steer right now. Don't drink and fly, kids. Don't drink and fly. Alright, let's see if I can land at Seraphim without blowing myself up because of how how drunk my character is. So who managed to get overdrive phase five done? Because we know how buggy it was. You guys watched us for the first hour or so here trying to pull it off. Anybody else managed to get it done so far? Oh my god, there's blood in my vision right now. So we had janky landing because my character's all high. I'm having a really hard time moving in a straight line. When I go left, he goes right. When I go forward, he goes back. That was hard. Let's get medical for my severe injuries here. Stone are flying. Honestly, that's basically what it is right now. It's like you've taken so many drugs to help with the injuries that your character's high. And cannot coordinate. When when the drugs are at their height, you'll often actually pull your ship left and it will go right. Or it'll start swerving. So they, they make it so that you you have actual inebriation. I don't know if drinking the beer does it. I've never actually tried doing that in the game, but I would guess in the future, if it doesn't now, it will. My guy's slowing down. He's starting to see spots. I do have to figure out that new LED light if I'm not going to use that ring light. That was so bright because I'm noticing that in like when I'm in open space and stuff, it's like my car my face is almost like black. Like completely blacked out in some places. Then once I'm in a station, it's different. So I will source something. What that said room three. What room did that say? Uh-oh. Would the family of patients best 
I didn't pay attention. Room six. My bad. I saw somebody asking in Discord earlier, but for anybody who's wondering on the stream um, about the rewards for Overdrive, if you do complete it, so that there's there's two things that you get. One, you get a free upgrade from the F7C Mark II to the F7A Mark II. That's not going to be available until the Xeno Threat event is complete after this one, which will come just after 3.23. So you won't get that reward until May. Um, and you also get a set of Xeno Threat medium armor, which is like a cool black and red armor set. Again, we'll get that, you know, end of May. Well, uh, sorry, end of May is a speculation. You'll get it in May, they said. Um, and I, I think you, most of these events you also get like a Spectrum badge. Um, they didn't say that this time, but usually you get some kind of badge for Spectrum to say you did the event. I don't really, really want the F7A, but just I kind of want to unlock it. The fact that I can unlock it is just kind of cool to me. <laughs> Make it to the hospital tech. Tax muted again. Hopefully he's going to make it to the hospital, all right? Looks like he's still flying up from the surface. Yeah, you're cutting out really bad, buddy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and jump out and just log. I'll catch y'all later. All right, dude. I'll see you next time. So for the guys that are still watching, <clears throat> four-hour stream, 20, 30 guys at a time on Twitch, and I think like five or ten on um, on YouTube on average, which is YouTube's new for me. Uh, Twitch is not. Thanks for hanging out. What did we get done? We got Overdrive, Phase 5, for a bunch of the guys in our crew. We were playing with a group there for a while. A um, bunch of new guys in our Discord. We'll talk to you guys while joining our org later. You can always talk to anybody who's like a mod or an agent or whatever in the Discord. Uh, I don't have a set streaming schedule yet. I saw some new guys today, so that question usually comes up. I'm. This is kind of like a recreational thing for me. If it gets bigger, I'll do. I'll do a schedule. But right now, I typically try to stream live to YouTube and Twitch about three times a week. I upload lore, gameplay, and news videos about three times a week as well on YouTube. Um, I post in our Discord when I'm going to go live, so you guys are welcome to come hang out. And otherwise, um, yeah, it's been great seeing some new people and some new names. Thanks for watching. Please do the whole subscribe, like, follow bullshit that everybody asks you to do. It means a lot to me. And hopefully I will catch all of you guys next time in the verse.